And hello, welcome into It's a Crit. I am CJ, the DM here. Welcome to our campaign, Fate Wild Follies. We are on episode 17 already out of 20. Can you believe that? This is already coming to a close. There's a maximum of four episodes left in this, so we're reaching the culmination, the climax, the the top Finale? of the mountain. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Apex. <laughs> with it. Ape Apex? Yeah, Apex. Let's go with that. That works as well. With me today, as oh, always, the summit. the summit. Thank God somebody thought of it. Okay. We have Nettie here right next to me running Winter, the little cat sorcerer. We have Basil being run by Ty over there in the middle, a turtle druid that bites things heads off. I will not forget those images. Thank you for that. Um, Asimar Bard, Crescendo over there being run by Aaron. He... Yeah. <laughs> Orc my brain on the bottom twig run by Dom and last but not least Buckshot our lizard folk ranger being run by Chris who is my Dr. Pepper buddy Heck yeah <gasps> oh my God. Chris right. can you be the Dr. Pepper buddy and the chicken milk buddy at the same time? That's a lot of buddy in there Because otherwise someone's gonna be really really disappointed when they see this You know what MPM I hope you're disappointed because I stole your friend because you put me you photoshopped me into that picture of the Beatles I saw it. I saw the photo, okay? I don't know why you think I look like John Lennon, but I don't. I look like Harry Potter. No, I'm just kidding. That's, that's just an insult uh, to John Lennon. Oh, excuse you! Yeah, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, we're coming close to the end, guys, where the characters are at the most risk of death. You've been wanting to kill Crescendo since, like, <laughs> Gum Street, so... <laughs> <laughs> Last You've hated him since his inception. <laughs> Nonsense! I love all my characters. All right, so last we left off, I was yep. I was waiting for I was waiting for Ty's face. I was <laughs> just uh, staring right okay, at right. you. <laughs> I knew you were. Gonna... Last we left off, the party found themselves in a throne room of gothic nature, dark walled, dark architecture. It's really strange for being in the Feywild. They fought this goo covered creature that turned out to be in Eladrin, claiming to be Solariel, which Nettie believes is an inappropriate character. All right, so... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Solariel is a name drop from the beginning of the campaign, actually. Episode 1, I believe, was the ring when you found that. Um. Anyway, regardless, so close. Oh, <laughs> I thought you meant so close, like, I, th I, th I got distracted by the rolling critty. <laughs> it's like, why is he oh no, he's reading that. Yep, he is. <laughs> because it, it's supposed to grab attention, and I was like, what's that? And I just see the critty rolling in circles. <laughs> well, it did its job. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. god. <clears throat> and so, party, you guys are in the throne room. You just saved... Um, Tavan, from his captor, you released the quote-unquote Solariel from her prison and lost Oznan in the process of the wild magic surge attacks. Oh, yeah. You are also all really weird-looking. Um, yeah. Because of wild magic stuff. I mean, technically, the Buckshot... That's right. So Buckshot's still a stone statue... And he perceives all of you as dead. Uh, Crescendo has a third usable arm still jutting out of his chest. <laughs> Twig, you have really long arms, so you have a 15-foot reach still, and you weigh 700 pounds and are a drow. Uh, oh. And Winter, you have all these teeth that make it extremely difficult to talk right now. You look like an anglerfish, you know? Really does. And Basil, your moorbounder is naked. All of the fur tuffed off. It just went... Poof. Also, uh, the forest is on fire outside. Uh, yeah, oh, no. I should, uh -huh. I should probably fix that with a cone of cold, huh? Also, the, you now notice, there. you also now notice that the castle changes color. It is no longer covered in, in dark, in dark, gothic, dark architecture, but is all, so it changes from these sharp, dark lines to bubbly, rounded, colorful, rainbow, Candyland-esque architecture. Whatever was happening here before is no longer so. I 
liked it better before. You liked it better before? Who said that? <laughs> You're literally <laughs> the only one that spoke right now. <laughs> For a second, I really thought I said something. I was like, shit, did I not remember what I said? <laughs> oh my god. I did, I did not mean to gaslight you, Nitty. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, hang on, let me. Where is my manager court? Okay. Cool. Oh, yep. Yeah, so, yeah, that is right. In the chat, I just read wonderful news for all of you. Every single one of you just got a point of inspiration. Let's see if my OBS can handle it. Oh, 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 good lord. Oh, it can not. We'll do one at nope. a time next time. It didn't, it didn't do the thing. There we go. Thank you, Ina. And that, thank you, thank Ina. You. Every single one of you just got points of inspiration. That puts Netty up to two, Ty up to three, Aaron up to four, Dom up to two, and Chris up to four. All right, guys. Yep. You guys are a little bit more loaded now. Um, don't forget, Ty you have- Ty is Gaslight, so who are Gatekeep and Girl Boss? <laughs> CJ is definitely Girl Boss. What? Oh Egg my god. <laughs> What? Apparently, I haven't seen whatever this reference is from, so I am Booyah, old. No, Booyah asked. Siege. Booyah in the chat was Ty's gaslight, so who are Gatekeep and Grobos? And I, like, I think CJ is Grobos. I don't know what I he's talking about. I think CJ is Grobos. I think you are Gatekeep. What, what are we talking? Aaron, what are we talking about? Explain it to Aaron. Also, I'm, I'm with gaslight, you, Gatekeep, Grobos. Dom, Dom, what are they talking about? I don't know, dude. I don't know. Just, just Ch Chris, 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 stream. Chris, 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 what are they saying? Yes, Chris, yes. What are they talking about, Chris? Chris. I, uh, you're you're fine. I am Zen. Are you? I am Harmony. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> My. I am calm. God. Uh, the fire continues just... to blaze outside. It's it's spreading very fast. Uh, what? Very fast. As a matter of fact, you see even... it moving at blazing speeds in a in the shape blazing of a. In, Sing speeds, I think. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Um, is, is it who I think it is? I, um, the no, fire no. seems to be going around the castle from the side of the wall towards the front of the gate. That's strange. We lost Ty. Mm. Oh, oh, It'll be back. Give me a second. Twig. Uh, I mean, guys, twig. Did twig, did twig, did twig just talk to himself? <laughs> did, did twig just go, Twig? Wait, that's me. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were Basil. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. I resent that. I do not sound like that. <laughs> Winter, can you please mm, put this out? <laughs> like no, nope, nope, I'm out. No. I hate it. I hate it so much. Why are you so like No. That? Hey, I don't know. I know how Jow sound. I bring you out and take back. Thank, I don't know, Jasper. What's wrong with you? Oh, it's me, Twig. Oh. Let's. No. 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 Let's no. not. How about we don't, actually? You know who would really <laughs> like that? Pintavis. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. My eyeliner is running. We did it. I hate it. I I'm hate swimming. it. swimming. You better chase we... it. Who the fuck is. So, I'm is not. this. <laughs> No? I was okay. We should probably- <laughs> No Jad jokes. <laughs> I was not. Guys, I think Osnan's gone. Um, Osnan fell into the abyss, and I can't move e because I'm too fat. E what? The ab Dom, Dom, it, it's not the abyss because the abyss is actually a place, remember? But he fell into a portal, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Does, would Twig know that it's an abyss? Arcana check no, me. How the fuck would he know? Arcana check exactly. me. I don't. Yeah, uh, that's oh, a good no. point. He wouldn't know, huh? Well, who knows? Maybe Arcana he saw something weird. Me, bro. Arcana nah, yeah, you me. definitely don't know. <laughs> what I know? No, I didn't even. No, I just said I didn't you, even fucking see what he doing. You Never can barely mind. see past your teeth. I just like, what are you? I myself. <laughs> uh, in any case, who the fuck is this uh, fucking elf ahead of like? Sitting in the ground. While you guys are all talking, you turn around, you see that Tavon is standing over Solariel. Oh. Uh, you just see a pool of blood just rolling off of the throne. 
His back Good is turned Lord. towards you. Uh, um, did Tavon just kill? <laughs> I can't. Don't, don't, don't fucking stop, you know, you know. No, not with that voice. No, with that voice. Uh, Buckshot is no longer petrified. Okay, you, your friends still look dead, though. It seems I've become unpetrified. I launch forward and bite the nearest creature. <laughs> what? Huh? All right, that looks to be Crescendo, Buckshot. actually. Ow. Crescendo is the one you bite. Hey, what, hey, what, what, stop, stop it. <laughs> you creatures are dead and not allowed to fall again. Anders, what do you, you do? You creatures stop. are no. dead. <laughs> like the arm cutting on my chest and just trying to like push him away. <laughs> and make an attempt to whip off his third arm. Oh my god. Wait, what? what? Roll a strength check? Aaron, can you please roll me a con saving throw? Oh my god. I guess. <laughs> What? That's it. I'm done. That was a nice session that we had. <laughs> Alright, bye, Nanny. Holy crap! Oh, oh my god. god. That's <laughs> fucking close! Buckshot rolled oh, a dirty shit. 20 for his strength check, but Crescendo rolled a nat 20 for a 23. <laughs> that was amazing. You barely save. It's like, oh my god. Like, you can feel the strength on this thing, and you can feel some of the skin sort of like tear, like, you know, like. Like the the gooey fleshiness just like, ow, 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 and you, but you, you you're able to get away. <laughs> Amers, what's your what's what's your problem? Undead creatures. We're we're, be no, gone. we're, we're alive. We're alive. Well, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Bookshot, don't bite me, please. My arms oh. are so long and wavy. Yeah, that must be so confusing because he looks dead, but. Also, doesn't look like Twig. Doesn't sound like Twig. Has 15 foot arms. I'm. <laughs> He's also 700 pounds, so. <laughs> I can't move. I'm fat. I imagine it's like muscle, too. Like, it's like the dad bod mix, right? Where he's oh, just God. really strong, but like 700 pounds worth of dad bod. That's a lot of dad bod. A... I have a such in my back, I can't reach, even with these buff long arms. <laughs> There's, there's nothing you can't reach with those 15 long foot long arms, my friend. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> You've tried. I can finally touch my, I can finally touch my toes. Okay. Oh, I wish we all could. No, I'm just kidding. You can't? <laughs> I, He's in that's his the final dad bod joke, Nettie. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> there's people out there who can't put their hands flat on the ground when they lean over, just saying. That's. <sighs> Oh, what? I'm gonna go. Uh, <laughs> we're listen, just, I'm just. We're just gonna skip past Nettie. Yep. Okay. So. We're... <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> can I go up to Tava and see what the fuck is going on over there? Cause we don't know. Yes, we can. Uh, you'll have to step over the the humble brag that Nettie just did, though. Oh wow. Okay. I, I have like... come to the conclusion that I'm still sleeping and this is some weird fucked up fever dream. <laughs> Nettie, why are you making fun of my dad says chat? It, it absolutely is. Chat oh, says Nettie, why are you making fun of my dad? I just, I, I'm sorry, I didn't know that was not what? not average anymore. Nope, yeah, you're right. <laughs> okay, so so Ty, you walk not Ty, sorry. Basil more bounder naked, more bounder Ty. You, yeah, that, that, you walk that over to where Tavan is standing, in. standing in front of the throne. You could see that the the blood is just pouring out, dripping from the from the throne's chair to the ground and rolling off yeah. towards the main door. Yeah. I guess she doesn't need the ring anymore. Someone want to explain what the fuck is going on? What do I see, dude? Huh? You Stop wait, you see Blade. Oh, you see Tavan standing there. Oh, do you want to see what Tavan's seeing? Because I just thought you're standing behind Tavan now, just creepy. Motherfucker, I'm going <laughs> up to Tavan. I'm not yeah, like standing Tavan's... behind yeah, him, like yeah. growling. Oh, well, Tavan is standing his... right in front of the throne and you were behind him, so I thought you were just growling from behind. Dude, what? I don't I'm know, man. You guys. Big kitty cat. You guys are weird. Okay. Uh, big, small kitty cat follows no. big kitty cat. Copy that. Uh-huh. <laughs> Okay. But I'll, I'll like if the blood is in our way, I'll. Oh my god! <clears throat> if the blood is in our oh, way, no. I'll just walk if through. The blood. 
Are are we? Oh, are hey, me and, um... where did you come from? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just walk through the blood. I don't. I don't even care. Okay. Are me and the cat still oh, like? No, I have linked white to... paws. Yes. Are we? Are we still yep. like? Yeah, yeah. Let course? him get away. Let him get away. Go ahead. No, I'm, I'm gonna keep moving. I think she has the carpet, or he has the carpet. Uh, winter. No, I don't. No. I stepped. I don't. I don't need the carpet. Where is the carpet? I stepped off the carpet. It's like, either, I it's the carpet either I'm riding it or Winter's riding it. Well, then you're riding. Well, it. I was, but I jumped down. Okay. So you can have it. There you go. So, so is I... this uh, floating there? I'm gonna get on the <laughs> carpet and keep my distance from fucking antlers. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Because <laughs> apparently he apparently he wants to eat me now. Uh, Twig, your arms are now normal size. Oh. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I should have changed the other thing first. Damn it! I should have yeah, picked the wrong. Yeah, you should. <laughs> yeah, you really should have. Wait, you only look oh. like a drow. You don't sound like. Uh, it's fine. You do you. I imagine they retracted into him like a measuring tape, like just a. <laughs> He starts spinning around, and, like doing like 360s. Like, I thought the last episode was going to be our weirdest episode. I didn't realize we were going to come out this like guns blazing. I like, know. you know what we, I mean? We, like, had, a, we had an episode full of wild magic with like 30 wild magic surges, and somehow this in the last 20 minutes has already been weirder. Apparently, really that wild magic affected us more than I thought. <laughs> Apparently. Oh, Apparently, indeed. <laughs> Uh, okay, so yeah, you walk up to you see Tavon and Tavon is simply standing over uh, the now defunct body of this creature uh, Great that goes my lord Rob that I was hoping for for two weeks. He's, he's just holding a blade in his hand You can see that he has slit the creature's throat Can we eat her? Do what you wish I'm done with her Why? Just another step in the ritual. Only one left. Well, you have to kill all your siblings? Something like that, cat. Why? To return myself to what I was once. Is that like a split personality thing where technically all of you would be the same person, but through some curse, you all got split into four different people? So everyone got stuck in, like, one color, I guess? And now you have to kind of put yourself back together? Roll an insight check. You're just saying that you fucking lure me on so that I put my fucking tinfoil head on and that's gonna be nothing. I'm gonna use two points of inspiration on that one. <laughs> wow. wow! You only have two points. <laughs> yeah. Good fucking luck. Let's see. Yeah. A plus five to the total. Here we go. Ooh, I'm proficient yeah. with insight. Come on. 29. <laughs> Dr. Pepper, sponsor us. We'll drink it. 29. 29. <laughs> oh my god. You see a twinge of surprised irritation in his eye for just a split second. At which no. part? I, I said a lot. But just while you're speaking. Oh. Yep. That is none of your concern, cat. Are you angry because I'm right or because I'm really wrong? Kind of looks at you and he looks over to the Moorbounder. You see him grasp his blade, looking back at you and just release his hand, just let loosen his grip a little bit. I'll have you know, if you kill me, my, mo my mother is not going to be happy about that. Have you ever tasted dragon? <laughs> I have. And he walks off. Only one left. If any of you want delicious. to help. Well then. And he looks over at Buckshot. Buckshot, you see he's like this dead guy walking over to you. <clears throat> when he gets within like 15 feet of you, he just puts his hand up. And you sort of, uh, you can resist. If you don't resist, you can accept it. Do you want to, you feel a, a, a sensation wash over you. Ah. Uh. Uh, a wisdom he, save if you gonna, want. He's gonna stand there, continue in 
is I'm thinking about like how long he's been frozen. Okay. Um, so then being distracted, you are overcome. You, you fail the, the saving throw and you are able to see that your friends are actually not dead. Though, though, t- though Twig is missing. You do see it, a really handsome 700 pound buff drow dad over there though. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Apparently the talk's like that. <laughs> Why? Touch today. Because I'm not used to it, the third arm just keeps kind of like getting in my face, and they keep just like pushing it out of the way. <laughs> well, you know that that's a place you I'd rather have it go it. than other places. <laughs> Crescendo! I will give you one gold if you can pick your nose with that arm. Stavon is just walking oh. towards the doors. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Tavon, I'm I... coming. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, da- yes, Dad. Did, da- did I clock him kind of like uh, clutching the blade when Winter was talking to him? Sure. When it was, yeah, when Winter mentioned whatever Winter was rambling on about, you could see he didn't like it. So. Uh huh. That, that fucker better watch his fucking back. I'm going to walk in front of. Uh, I mean, he's, yeah. I mean, like you, you and you and Winter are still at the throne next to the body that's bleeding out right now, still gurgling blood. Uh, and oh. um, he's almost to the front door now. Walked past Buckshot already, does, which is the farthest member. Does the body still seem? What, what's the tether distance between me and Winter? Is it twenty feet? Thirty. It was thirty. 30. Yep. Okay. Um. Does it look like it's still alive? Uh, it's now dead by the time I've told you this sentence. Okay. Cool, I'm gonna... My... Oh, convenient. It's so crazy. remember the unicorn... Mm-hmm. Unicorn... Unicorn guys? No. Guess what I'm gonna do? Oh my god, what? Yeah. Oh, wait, Let's what? Let's see no, what really? Eladrimla does. Oh my god. Does, does someone want to explain to me what the fuck is going on? So, if I see Winter start to walk towards the dead body, knowing his track record, I'm going to pick him up like a mother no. cat picks up its kittens. Mm-hmm. Right just on the like scruff. by the scruff of the neck <laughs> and carry him to the fucking door with me. And it does, and it does paralyze you. That is a cat weakness. Ah. <laughs> so, <laughs> you are Point paralyzed. By <laughs> held, held in this way, you are paralyzed. Bezel! Bezel! No! Oh, I love this. Bezel! No! You just, you just hear a growl. I'm just slowly float, like floating behind you guys on the carpet because I need to stay within 30 feet away. Bezel! Yeah, the forest is still engulfed in flames outside, but yes. Um, yeah, but we should do something about that at okay. some point. Alright. Um, I'll be there in a second, guys. Oh my god. So yeah, Tavon kind of gets to the door, and before he pushes it open again, um, kind of turns around to all of you, and he just turns around and like he has uh, what's left of his uh, like cloak, like the 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 coat tailed cloak that has the long back, and it kind of flows. Um, when he turns, and he just looks at you. And he's like, "There is only one more, one more step, and I will be done with what I set out to do." Oznan's life will not have been given in vain. And really all those who have followed as well. I am the rightful heir to this throne. And I will do anything and everything in my power to claim it once again. With this creature down, it really does leave one left. And he looks over to Buckshot. Even though we have a common foe. Minerva herself. Mm. So if any of you wish I... to join and end this, lizard folk, vengeance maybe. Yeah, uh, count count me in. Then, if none of you have any qualms, you may follow. I think there's a friend waiting outside as well. Can, 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 can you can you get rid of this? 
like point to the third arm coming out of my chest. <laughs> you know, why would you want to get rid of it? It's useful. <laughs> <laughs> it's awkward, it's awkward and it's, it, it, it's uh, I prefer to not have it coming out my chest. Well, imagine or when you could... for that matter. <laughs> convenient though. I, li I like my two arms where where they are normally. Well, I know an incantation. I can't promise that it's not a hundred percent accurate for which arm it removes though. Ooh, ooh. Can you make me less heavy? I I would like to keep this drow form for my wife. I feel like she would. Greatly appreciate this new sexy body of mine. Oh. Your wife? You mean the one that you said was kidnapped with your children? Well, yeah. Once they find her, find her. I just, I just killed a, you know, a queen of the Feywild. I feel kind of, you know, pumped up. Did you? Well, I didn't kill That's her. That's not what I saw. Yeah. 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 <laughs> never mind. I tried to save her, and then you kind of did your own thing. Mm. I, I guess we're just gonna forget about my arm. All right. Let's, I guess let's go. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Go take care of his little arm thing. I'll be over here. Starting. Right. Well, it looks to. Mm. Well, your status is fixable. Yeah. Uh, all you have to do is posture check. I was gonna say the same thing. Fucking god <laughs> damn it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Make sure you're sitting up right there. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, I just cracked oh. my back. Holy crap. How did I do that? Anyway. Um, well, thank you. You all think I'm a shrimp. I just have poppy bones. I'm gonna let you think about that. All right. So he looks over to, to, to Twig or whatever it's Twig is now. <laughs> Tregilius. 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 What? What? Okay. There's members that of the Fricado Legion. Come again? Yeah, what? I had the <laughs> same. I had to think of Titris immediately. Yeah, stupid Titris. <laughs> <laughs> that poor guy. Um. Yeah. So. Um, just put your thumb on the roof of your mouth. Drow, whatever barbarian. So you do that. Oh, cool. And then he kind of blitz out the force blast and like shoves your thumb back and back farther into your mouth, just like, <laughs> <laughs> and your form you fall like you stumble back a bit and your form begins to shape back into the orc that you are. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, oh bloody hell! That was crazy. You still four? You still seven hundred pounds? Where have you been? Twig, where have you been? <laughs> I was a sexy drop. I'm still heavy. I want to get rid of the heavy. I can't walk like this. Hmm. Okay, put these boots on. You took away my sexy. And, okay. What are and, he, and he like That's looks at uh, one of the stone statues and he goes over and touches it and uh, just like grabs the two boots, like tears them off the statue and just like throws them over to you through the air. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, Dom is... Dom oh, well, is... Oh, Dom is oh, dying. Oh, go ahead. One nope, more time. No. Go ahead. Catch. Catch, sorry. Okay, yeah, you catch them and you you don't even feel them. They're light as air. Oh, he slides them on. Uh, you no longer feel your weight, but you still have the impact of a 700-pound train. It's a very Ooh. small train, apparently. <laughs> um, okay. All right, well, for your third arm, if you're, if you're sure you want to try, then... Sure. Stand there. Well, sit there, I guess, if you're gonna... He looks at you floating on the carpet. Is it, how are you so thin if all you do is float? Eh, it doesn't matter. All right. Roll a d4. That's the only thing he consumes is alcohol. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> a d4? A d4. He just sits there and incants. One. Yeah. 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 Because I think I made a mistake by aggravating Talvan before I get rid of my teeth. I think so. <laughs> I think you did. Um, yeah, so your right arm is uh, falls off. It just plops off like a Mr. Potato Head toy. <laughs> it's your right arm. Yeah, because the you one is the right, four now. is the left, and then the two in the middle, were, the two and three were going to be the chest arm. Oh, no. <laughs> so, uh... Well, oh, that wasn't no. the intention. Perhaps we could try again tomorrow. <laughs> I couldn't keep character. <laughs> just watching her face. <laughs> just, like, so, hmm. well, I can only try that once a day, so keep it. Don't lose it. And tomorrow we can try again. 
So it looks oh, like gladly. you'll have to help. Wonderful. I'm gonna stick with my teeth. It'll be a better probability tomorrow now that we failed once. Maybe you'll get used to it though. Maybe you'll enjoy this new setup, huh? It'll be easier to hold things. He kind of just looked confused at himself. So I'm not. No. Oh, yeah. Anyone else? Before we go, need help. He looks at the Moorbounder. Uh, you look a little cool. Oh. Well, I suppose it's better this way if you're standing near the fire that's raging outside. I forgot about that. <laughs> ah. I forgot about that. <laughs> you forgot about it. Okay. I wonder how that started. <laughs> oh, it was probably Agum. 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 Let's fucking fight on his back. No. Nope. I'm not sure. I was gonna about ask you about my teeth, but not so sure anymore. Oh, we can fix your teeth, of course. <laughs> Come here. I, I can't. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring Winter oh, over yeah, to where he is. Oh yeah, he's paralyzed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And so he brings you over. He just looks at your teeth. He's all he like, kind of like. Oh, I just gotta, you know, check this. And he kind of like gets really close into your ear, and he's just. Don't you tell anyone what you just said again. Mention it, and it will be the last words you utter. Huh. Yes. Yeah, so the teeth right here, and just like flicks your ear, and your teeth shrink in size. <gasps> Do I hear that? Roll a perception check. I will. Huh, way better. This, this bastard better watch himself. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like he's threatening my cat. He's threatening my freaking cat. Hey, well, you well, do I not. Can, I don't think so, no. <laughs> oh, Basil, <laughs> King Booyah oh. gave it to you. He was delayed. He just arrived, so I will let you have that advantage roll. Oh, oh, fuck! Oh. Nice! Thanks, for ya. Oh. Come on! Come on, come on, come on! Oh, uh, oh. 15. Uh, 15? Oh. Alright, with the 15, oh. you hear him say, if... words again. Uh. Okay. I feel like I could piece together what he's talking about. Though. I feel like if Especially words again, yeah, that's pretty... What's your yeah, intelligence I... score right now? Uh, right now, as a more bounder? Mm hmm. Give me a second. What is for wild shape? It's it's not that. Wow, more bounders are. I... Uh, 13. Okay, yeah, that'll be enough. Yeah, sure. You could probably piece it together. It's probably a threat. Yeah. Which indicates that whatever yep. Winter said really hit close to home. Maybe too much, so. Yep. Okay, so. <laughs> all I knew it! <laughs> What did he go from oh a What did he go from that anyone, interaction? Wait, wait, bad time. Has anyone seen the, 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 the Elmo gif? The Elmo gif right where he's like in hell on fire? <laughs> in hell. Then he, oh, yeah. then he uh, just... Uh, <laughs> did I channel that? I'm so glad this is live and recorded. Oh my god. Yes. Thank you, King Boga. Just like there that. There we go. King Boga in the chat. Just like that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, okay. Sorry, Tiger. Neddy. You are the personification of that gift. Oh just saying. my god. This has been a roller coaster. Yo, yo. Y'all always think I'm crazy for what goes on in my brain and my conspiracy theories, but I'm right. We don't okay, think I'm, you're crazy. I'm thinking we, of a different gift now. I bet you can <laughs> I bet you can realize which one it is. <laughs> the one with the with Charlie Day. It's like all yeah. of the pins, everything, everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like guys. <laughs> yeah. Yep, that, exactly oh. that one. <laughs> yeah, um, he's oh. still poisoned. Who's still poisoned? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Die. Yeah. Well, am I? Yeah, why were you poisoned? I forgot. Oh, uh, my wild, God. wild magic. I oh, won. yeah, yeah. Wild magic. <laughs> that one he will wear He's poisoned off. for a entire day. Oh, it wasn't an entire day. You're right. Oh, it's not worn off then. You're kind of oh, screwed. I this is not going to be am... good going into the boss fight like that. I shoot my I'm <laughs> fucked. <laughs> I, I'm gonna... I'm... Go. I... Okay, so... Two things. One, what I gleaned from the interaction with Tavan is that A, Winter is right, and B, 
Tavan, if, if Tavan lays a single finger on Winter, he will not have that finger anymore or anything else on his body. Uh, Better do it now before he... he's king of the Feywild. Or mm -hmm. <laughs> king of this court. <laughs> uh, don't, don't, give, don't give me ideas. Okay. Don't, don't fucking give me ideas. Lavender. Because I will become king of the Feywild. This if... might be the last episode. All right, then. All right. <laughs> uh, and, uh... I will See? kill Tavan and become king of the world. Okay, Anyways. well, he's the king of this court, yes. This court of the yeah. world. It's like a, yeah. Anyway, go ahead. Same thing. Still pretty big, uh, yeah. No, okay. Yeah, B, I still need his help because I am poisoned, so I'm gonna, like, trot up <laughs> after him. <laughs> and kind of, like, just, like, knock like, into him. Like, nudge him, just like, hey, hey. Are yeah. you still <laughs> carrying me? Yes. Oh. <laughs> you guys, you guys know how when like Buzz Lightyear loses his arm in Toy Story. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Nisbet. No. Please don't tell me you you pick your own arm up and ask people if they need a hand. <laughs> Maybe after I get used to the fact that it's like detached. You might, you might want to watch out because I hear I hear Buckshot in the background. Just mm, I, last time we heard that he ate something. So. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! I just mm. the carpet gets a little higher. <laughs> <laughs> Have anything you want to say, Buckshot? Are you good? No. Why are you rolling? <laughs> so, did you not just I'm you on the carpet? You did, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> you did not just try to sleight of hand Crescendo's arm away from him. Okay. Okay. No. Wait, all right. Here, here's here's the uh. important question. Oh god. The hand coming out of my chest, does it have a left hand or a right hand? <laughs> I'ma flip a coin. <laughs> R1D2. One it's a left hand. Two it's a right hand. One oh one D2. <laughs> Alright, and that is a one. It's a left hand. So you have your left-handed left hand. Left hand. <laughs> that is not helpful at all. <laughs> Uh. Hey, instead of left feet, you have left hands. Hey! You got two left hands, you can't cra you can't carry anything for shit. So, remember how Tavan said if I like say one, like if I repeat that and say one more thing? Elmo emo, uh, Elmo knit, Elmo emo. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, Nettie wearing black, I just like Nettie, emo. Yes. Elmo, Elmo Nettie has been successfully Nettie. clipped. Thank you, chat. We appreciate that. Oh um, no. You know, like, like that, like kid, like, he's trying to like, reach over the kitchen counter. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah. That's uh, like basically me when I like try to reach over the car. He's, he's, like, he's like, come on, just let me have it, man. Just like... well, I'll, 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 I'll take more apron. You can stab the hand. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oi, Crescendo, I'll keep Buckshot at arm's length. <laughs> Your arm's are normal size. Oh, you mean his arm? But no, his arm. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I thought you were just referring to yours. That's <laughs> God. I hate all of you so much right now. You love reason. us. And you know No, that. this is crescendo. <laughs> oh. Yes. Yeah. We got he it. loves like, us. I'm, I'm... Yeah, exactly. You have Are to you hand sure? it. <laughs> no. You Not at all. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you guys are uh, now... Um, oh, yes. Go ahead. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nope. Uh, what? Yes. What do you got? The message spell. Oh. Tavan told me not to repeat and to say it out loud, so, um... Oh, you want to do that? You really? You just watched Tavan do all of these random magical things yep. you've never seen or heard of, and you're going to do... Yep. Okay. Also, you're just, like, right next to him. I'm not going to say that time. out loud. He, he threatened my life. <sighs> and while this cat has no remorse or, um... Or a lot of sense for consequences of his actions... Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to die. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> Go ahead. No, this is a great idea. This is a I good know. idea. Yeah. Tavon is growing I'm more powerful after that he's killing. He's gonna kill me. I'm he's... fully. I, I expect that he's gonna hurt me. He's growing so I'm... much, so much stronger. Okay. Uh, on today's oh. section of D and D, um, five players spent uh, an hour talking to Nova Corpse. <laughs> well, I <laughs> thought we would get a lore drop, and then he killed the lore drop. Just saying. So I had to make. I had to make my own lore drop. <laughs> you just hear him. You didn't yeah, have I mean, to. you just did anyways. Since you guys are close enough, you'll just hear him mumbling to himself. He's all that makes. Solario's dead. That makes two. 
One more. It's only four. It was yes. the other one. <laughs> what? In a message. In a message. I'm not asking this out loud. I will not repeat he, what I said out loud. <laughs> he just looks at you and he's all. He looks at you. And he just says out. Says out loud. He says it. And he just. What? If you have something to say, it. please. Say it. Don't fucking repeat it. Look, <laughs> viewers, just want, look at Nettie's face, He's viewers. Coming to you. Just He's look coming at Nettie's face, you. viewers. Just look at her. <laughs> <laughs> it's that red shiny button. Um, it's right in front of you, Nettie. Go ahead, just press it. I know. Push the button. Uh, sir. I'm Are gonna you... fucking walk okay. the fuck away. Because, <laughs> uh, fuck that. <laughs> whatever, whatever just happened in between there. Some magical shit. I don't know, but Tavan said that out loud. Fuck, I'm fucking walking <laughs> off. Yes, this is not over. <laughs> it's like it's carried away. You just hear the. <laughs> I have so you many questions. <laughs> you just hear the equivalent of Battle saying as a more bounder. Yes, it is. Just a yes, it is. <laughs> just a yes, right, it is. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, no, lizard folk. Not. What question do you have? I forgot it. <sighs> All right. Hey, can we can we move on now and get in, go finish whatever <laughs> the fuck it is that we're doing? So, so if, if Basil is more bounder, is taking Winter the opposite direction? Is <laughs> Crescendo just fall, turned around in that follow following yeah, on the scarf? <laughs> 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 Bezel is currently commanding more than half the party. <laughs> hey, Somehow. Hey, gog hey, goggles, just just put him on the goddamn carpet. It just went <laughs> 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 I really don't feel like following you. Oh, fine, whatever. Fuck this. Uh, he just, I start heading out. Well, you, now you have to turn around again then and walk back towards Tavon because he's the one at the front door. Uh, no, I... Like, when I said I walked off, I mean I walked off towards, oh. like, at the outside. Oh. That makes more sense. Okay. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I just... This is no fun. <laughs> <laughs> Why does that give you so much joy? Because <laughs> it's great. Okay. It's great. <laughs> Winter is a <clears throat> fucking angsty preteen, and I love it. And he's Winter so dumb, child, he's gonna yeah. get himself killed. Alright, yeah. so you arrive towards the front door, and the front door, you can see smoke uh, emanating in from underneath it. So there was like the main chamber hall door you passed, and then you're going towards the front door that you guys entered the castle from, which is oh, farther geez. ahead. And now smoke is just entering underneath, billowing out from the bottom crevice uh, into the filling up this room. Hmm. Tavon's just waiting oh. here at the main entrance. He hasn't, or the, the main, uh, this, this door into the throne room. He hasn't started moving towards the main door yet. I glare at him. Okay. How? You're not looking his way. He's literally the, behind you. Oh, freak. I thought he was next to us. No, he's not walking. Darn. Ty walked forward towards the main door. <sighs> yeah, yeah fine. I, thought I walked off. Uh, God, it would be so good if I could cast one i'm in a worship ring why don't you unwall so. shape and put me down <laughs> you really think i would put you down even out of wild shape he's just gonna hold you for the rest of the campaign just come on cat <laughs> <Just, yeah. laughs> I, I am absolutely has... capable of doing that i just want you to know i wonder who has any water you know maybe crescendo over there can lend us a hand <laughs> I love how the whole group chose to not say anything. The whole group just <laughs> we know we knew where it was going, and we just we just no let one have this man a high five. <laughs> Can I get a perception check from all of you? Yes. Do I, I do I do do I make that with disadvantage because of the poisoning that we just remember that uh, I have? Uh, poisoning. I think yeah, it gives you disadvantage on like everything. Yeah. Kind of sucks. Fucking fucking fuck. Jesus. Jesus. Okay, Buckshot uh, and Twig, you guys, uh, and Crescendo, actually. Buckshot, Twig, oh. Crescendo. Wow. Only. Uh, Buckshot, Twig, Crescendo, 
the three of you uh kind of you thought you heard um uh Tavon just kind of like chuckle under his breath when twig made the joke hey he likes that one <laughs> i knew it was funny but seriously we gotta put this fire well we're not getting out of here well, i'm getting death threats and 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 twig is getting chuckles for bad jokes Nettie, would you say that winter was a weapon I know what you're going. I know what you're going for, and I think yes. I don't I mean, think so. Seen, Unless seen, I can use you seen, to cast spells. Booya have you says, seen the head count? Booya says. Booya says he feels like the the viewer who redeems it says they feels like the cat is a weapon. I mean, it's a pretty valid. Have you all seen the head count? I think yeah. Crescendo, your carpet falls out from underneath you. Uh, I will drop you if <laughs> when I s <laughs> what. Crescendo's carpet is the weapon that I dropped. What? <laughs> <laughs> so you're just floating and all of a sudden it just kind of drops to the ground. You're just like... <laughs> mm -hmm. Twig will try to catch like him. 25 feet off the ground or something? Oh shit, yeah, yeah you really... Oh. Can, uh, can you roll me a con save? Or a dex saving a throw? Con? Can... Well, it's a dex save. Or, well, I mean, he's probably going to slam into the ground with his face, but I mean... Uh, Twig is just going to try to catch him. He can save himself. Just... It's okay. First you tease us no, with a lore drop, man. and then we, we sadly can't play for two weeks. So I have to get my own lore drop because Four you're blood like, and damage nah. from landing kind of weird on your ankle a little bit. Almost like you tripped on a tree root or something. I'm going to open the door. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I kick the carpet and react. Did you see that react? That. Okay, the carp <laughs> when you kick the carpet it flies up twenty five feet in the air above you. I literally can control it to come back down so It will, it'll come back down. It just wanted to show its rebellious nature. It talks to you in your mind. I fucking hate <laughs> those who ride me like you do, you fucking two armed weirdo. <laughs> it's a sentient carpet. When how? I just awoke. When he kicked the it. The wild wow. magic. Oh, oh god. god. It was a wild magic surge. How does it feel to only have two arms, you fork? Wow, Crescendo. That's some backhanded comments from that carpet. <laughs> I fucking swear to god. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, CJ, I'm leaving. Okay, Chris is okay. gone. Chris... All right, so you're gonna open the door with the smoke fumes, like the the the, the pillows, the the billowing smoke coming out from under. You're gonna open it. I'm waiting for Anything's somebody to open the door. <laughs> Anything's better than you. Well, I would open the door, but I'm stuck. Well, you're paralyzed. You're not stuck. Yeah, I was going to say Pretty I would have I, mean, yeah, I would have I would have accepted that you are a weapon if when I squeeze you, you cast ray of frost. That would be cool. I mean, you haven't tried that yet. Uh, I s huh? Go ahead. I s I just lightly squeeze. Winter. Roll a con save, Winter. Oh no! <laughs> what? Yeah. I d I'm not trying to bite. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, definitely not. Oh my god! Fuck you, Siege. <laughs> Seventeen. Oh my god! Booyah! Really? Wa okay, fine. Fine, Booyah. Fine, I'll give you your weapon drop. The cat weapon fires out a ray of frost, making the cat now a weapon, drops to the ground, freezing the door. The door okay. then, because it was superheated moments ago, as Buckshot's about to touch it to open it, is now frozen by the ray of frost. The extreme temperature change causes a reaction, and the door splinters, exploding into a million tiny pieces. Did you make up Buckshot's violence today? <laughs> like violence against Nettie, because I feel like we're having like we're like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it explodes. Just, the, sh the the shards go every which direction. Everyone roll a deck saving throw. Okay. I wonder how did you burn through inspo already? Oh lord. <laughs> right. oh, lord. Uh, you know, so you see, CJ didn't give me the lore drop that I needed, so I kind of came needed. up with my own, and apparently I was very close to the truth because the, the 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 NPC got angry. <laughs> And I needed to use it for an insight well. check. Uh, no, I don't think on saves. Let me go. Okay. Where is your character? No, Let poisonous me... only attacks and Yeah, it's uh, saving checks. throws. Are... Yeah, okay. Exactly. Okay. Uh, what? Is it deck so, save? Uh, oh, wait. no. 
Wait, did you say attacks and saves or attacks and checks? I said checks. Oh no. Well, yeah, let's just checks. Oh, I'm gonna get hurt. Oh. Who the fuck? D Basil, what? roll for yourself. Don't roll on my I token. I did. Roll on your what? token. No, you rolled on my token. You still have my token clickers. I don't want to. No, winter is poison. I did my it. bad. Fucking. Why am I poisoned? <laughs> I was just checking it. <laughs> it was just the token I clicked on. Okay, so the saves I got for that yeah. ex for the do for to dodge the splintered yeah. door. Anyone above a ten? What do we have? <laughs> ten. Oh my gosh, Nitty, really? I have a ten. How did the Moorbounder roll a freaking six? I have fucking no, dude. <laughs> okay, you each take one point of splinter damage. Okay. As from I... and as the door just s settles, smoke settles. I'm not sure exactly really what's settling, but whatever was in the way blocking your vision settles. You just see a large muscular figure with two little horns coming off the top, standing there just. I have arrived. Ah! Wait, yes. I you. Hi. Uh oh. I didn't expect to see you here. I didn't know you were a guard. For the I... demon that is Solariel. Oh, oh, she's Very dead. Very well, prepare to... Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> just kind of relaxes. That was I... the most beautiful fucking timing. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I'm going to drop Wild Shape and just point to Tavan behind us. <laughs> Tavan! Tavan. Oh, there it is. Ta Tavan. How do I feel about you right now? It's been a while. Tavan, how long has it been for you? It's only been a few ten days for me. Months? It's been months now. I'm not sure anymore. I lost count. I started to stack the teapots up to count the days, but it got tiring and I ran out of teapots. Talvon! Yes, it's been a couple of years, Agum, actually, on our side. I'm sorry, friend. Ah, well. I live a long time. I'm okay with that. Well, Agum, there's only one left. Are you still in? Only one! <laughs> of course I am. Who's the last one? Well, the mistress of madness herself. You know, mom. Mom? Well, yeah, the mistress. And then he looks at Twig. Yeah, the mistress of madness. M O M. Mistress of madness. He did not! I get it. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, Mistress of Man is so mouthy, so witty. You know, it's, it's I mean, ridiculously rush, inappropriate. Rush. Who would want to, to say something? To be fair, I know one party member who might, when he meets her, call her mommy. So. <laughs> I was about, I was about to say, if like the Mistress Man escape birth at that, and he points at Agum, that, that's impressive. Well, I'm just saying. Talk that... shit with, with your annoyed support round right now. <laughs> 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 huh. Um. Well, have you seen Ozan? Ozan, where's Ozan? Actually, gone. What? Ozan is always gone. <laughs> you smell smoke. <laughs> it wasn't us. It wasn't us. <laughs> Do you find Oz that funny? Ozan is always gone. <laughs> You, you're going to get burned. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna step back behind. No, no, no. Come, come, friend. Come okay. here. Okay, all come right, all right. Here. Uh... <laughs> Argo, we don't have time to them. deal with the peasants. Let's move forward. What are you calling a. How can you peasant? still speak? Silence cast. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll send a message. That's rude. God damn it. How many... Um... <laughs> 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 it just drops silence. Never mind. It's not worth it. <sighs> Who's the tallest person here right now? Agum. Creature. Oh, no. Agum's I'm gonna burn my paws. I'm gonna walk up to him. <laughs> hey, go, go. Hey, can I sit on your shoulder? Sure. If you can stand the heat. All right. I'm not bending over. No, it's fine. 
<laughs> oh, I got you, Winter. I'm sorry. Oh, I got you, Winter. Up the cat oh, and chuck it. No. <laughs> I feel like that happens a lot. <laughs> this can't be. Oh, you, you really? Does it? Does it? I don't know. I mean, I'm fully prepared to like do weird, like getting thrown or shaken sounds at this point. So. <clears throat> <laughs> How have we managed to fuck around for like an hour and not actually do anything? Excuse yeah. you, we got a huge lore drop. That is how D and D works. Yep. I got like four puns in, so we're good. Oh my god. As long as all scum was good. I'm not, I'm not even mad about that one. You were not even mad about it. <laughs> I'm glad you're not mad about it. <laughs> Almost okay. made you spit up my cream soda. That would have made me mad, but. I mean, that was a close call, huh? Wait, why? Oh, then the second time. Why? Today, what are you going to say right now? Hmm? Are you going to say something? We saved all of Let's get out of here. First, you chuck the cat and then you just run away. Yep. There. Okay. Oh, hello! Hey. Welcome in, Cinderblock oh Sally. I fucking love that name. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome into our... Whatever this is, really, at this point, I'm not sure if we can still call this D&D, but hey! It's definitely a cluster fudge. Alright. So, Agum looks to you. Let me raid you. Uh-huh. <laughs> Sorry, we don't have that sponsor oh. yet. Oh, we oh, have... No. Oops, Nettie, can you handle what? that? Thanks. What? Me? How? What? Oh wait, I. Because uh, hmm. uh, we don't allow raids except for people who we follow. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to get in there and follow that account, mm -hmm, thank mm -hmm. you. I'm on uh, it. I'm uh, on Gilga it. Gilga is redeeming a winter inspiration, though, so that way you have some point of inspiration. That'd be great. Uh, winter actually got yeah. another one from uh, Ina before. Yeah, yeah. So he, he, no, he, he used it. <laughs> He was like, he, he had what? one. He had one. He was up to two. Used two on the lore drop. Inspired the insight check. Went to zero. Yeah, and then That's got so another one from Ina. No, no, no. It was the he started at one. When he got yeah. the point from Ina, it was yeah. one point. Yeah. So no, that was from one got, to two. He, he got another one from Ina. A second point. A little. Yes. Oh, I missed it. Really? I'm yes, looking at the redemption I'm though. I have to. I have to click I'm, the button. Okay. What? No. Jesus. Wait. Oh I'll my get, god, what I'll is happening? There's so many oh, things going on. Why are Winter... Oh my god, everyone, everyone just gave Winter points. Okay, Winter, you're full. I'm just gonna... I just got, I I'm, I'm just gonna got click the button once. On I'm gonna accept... Okay, guys. Oh my... Not this many. This is many. I'm gonna have to... Oh my god. Oh my god. There's so a many. lot of... There are a lot of points. Okay, I'm gonna take Gilga's. That's one. Ina's two. Gilga's three. Oh, Booyah four. And then Booyah we're five. We're in the middle of chaos. And we're getting raped. <laughs> Oh god. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> this is a lot. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much. Yeah. Winter, you are oh actually at god. six points of inspiration oh now. No. Look, your little cube is at your little dice is at six now. It's been my forever. Cube? Welcome you. in, Raiders. Hello. We'll need it. Oh, we are It's a Crit. This is a DD streaming channel. We're doing a short story campaign and it's just pure mayhem right now. We've spent an hour uh moved about forty feet and um all we've been trying to do is recover from a wild magic fight, and that was probably not our best move. Uh, yeah. Crescendo over there on the left is an awesome bard. He has two arms, but uh, he had three. There was a third arm coming out of his chest, but uh, now he lost his right arm like Mr. Potato Head. That fell out. Oh. And so now he's got two left arms on his left and his center. It, it's hard to explain. But I um, also have a sassy carp that I'm about to throw into the fire if it doesn't shut the hell up. Wait, wait, excuse you. <laughs> oh my God. Look, this, this carpet just gained sentience. Oh. This thing is, is, is now alive. It has feelings and thoughts and goals of its own. And just because it's a little bit sassy, because you kicked it, you know, oh. it's a... <laughs> oh, oh, so, so oh. if the carpet has thoughts and is sassy, it's rude to make death threats. But if Tavon does that to Winter, it's fine? Oh my god. Yeah, Tavon is the, the heir to the throne of the, the favorite court, so that's okay. So anyway, oh, uh, Dom, you got a point of inspiration from Gilga. <laughs> no, thank Yay. you, Gilga. So uh, yeah, you guys are super close to being full. You guys have not had this much inspiration on this stream, on this in this campaign for a little while now. Yeah, <laughs> this is it's incredible. Been five weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're full, and the others are close. Okay. Yeah. So, um, 
You guys. I get chucked onto Agum. Yes, Agum. So you you've been chucked onto Agum by Buckshot. Okay, yeah. the lizard folk grabs you. The little your mangy cat, not mangy. I mean, it's pretty clean actually. You press to digitate yourself all the time, so I can't even say that. Yeah. You are technically very clean. So anyway, he throws you up there, and um, <laughs> you know, I'll go try to Gilga. I actually know that word. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Gilga. Oh, Basil, that is enough points, oh, actually, to put you oh, up Oh, good to... lord. Oh, booyah. Oh, oh okay. Oh, it's happening. Nice. It's happening. Oh, it's happening. Oh, oh my god. god. Booyah's oh, going for it. Oh, oh no. Oh, Jesus. Day. Oh, good lord. It's happening. There's a lot of points of inspiration just flying this in right now. Is. Players, you're going to go into the boss fight full of inspiration. <laughs> yep. Oh, god. Thank you. We uh, At this point, I'm just surprised that we just get to the boss fight, period. <laughs> 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 Is it possible to give the DM inspiration for when their monsters are rolling uh, low? My monsters no. don't roll low, don't worry. <laughs> Thank you, yeah, though. <laughs> uh, first of all, our DM rolls incredibly... He lo basically rolls like a god when it comes to combat. I just accidentally... And, uh, we yeah. do have... Do we still have the NPC advantages uh, and disadvantages? Okay, so Dom... Yeah, uh, yeah, that's still in there, I think. Dom, you have... You're the only one that doesn't have full points, Dom. I've returned that's a fine. couple that were Rebel. extras. So you, everyone has six except for Dom. Twig has five, the green one, but that's okay because you are a barbarian and you hit. Just kidding, you have all no. of them now. Yo guys, <laughs> I, was just, I should have seen. Okay, party. I have not seen you guys at full inspiration. I don't know. Is this the first time in this campaign? I don't know, but you guys mm -hmm. are. Oh, we've all been full. It is. Yeah, that's the first. This time. is yeah. the first time. All right, you guys. So now that you're also, full. CJ, we do not. What? We don't have NPC plus two and minus two. Oh, okay. Right now. That's okay. Don't worry. I'll roll high anyway. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, uh, here we go. So, <laughs> um, great party. You uh, so uh, you see you see yes you see winter the the <laughs> the, the the main coon large cat fly up onto Agum's shoulder, which is a fire afraidy by by the way. Um, yes. You land on it and immediately your little paws, the pads on your feet just go and just begin to sizzle. It is painful. Uh. Air frost. <laughs> what? Well, no, 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 no! Press the digitation. I'm gonna cool. I'm gonna cool where I'm standing. I'm gonna cool my paws. I'm gonna use press the digitation to cool my paws. Oh my god, this is. He just kind of looks at you. And he's all. Uh, it feels kind of good, actually. It's like a little reverse sauna. Can you also? Need dough, yes, just like that. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <There's> a... <laughs> maybe in maybe in like twenty minutes you can switch sides to the other arm. This one's all right. As long as I can stay stay up here. Yeah, you can stay up here. I don't promise your safety, but I'm more than happy to have you. All right, you. All right, this and... is great. Tavon's already oh, like it's... half. He's like a hundred feet away. Already like down. He's walked away. I'm sure some oh, of you have followed him on the way. I'm not sure, but. Um, he begins his walk, and he's just all, Those of you who still wish to fight, we're almost done with this. Just follow. Agum, I'm sure you found what you needed to find. Yes, my lord, I have found her castle. No, not her castle. Of course I know where the castle is, Agum. I used to live there. Ah. Oh. Then I don't know to what you're referring, my lord. Uh... uh. The moon, the the blade, the moon blade that I fell through. The I came with the the blade. It fell, and you did. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. And he pulls out the blade, and he has the moon blade in his hand. Aha! Is it not beautiful? Yes, uh, yes. I need it. Give it back. Is but, it beautiful? But yes, I like it. it <laughs> Agum, Agum, just give it back to me. I need to go. You, you know. No. Uh, oh, my, yeah, okay, kneels down. Yes, my lord. He like holds the little moon blade above his head. Okay. Isn't he still super tall? Yeah, he's still pretty big. I mean, yeah, Tavon like just walks over and like reaches up just like the cookie jar thing where he's trying to like get a kid trying to get a cookie. <laughs> oh, he's, like, just I level with him now? Basically, he just looks at you oh. and he's all <sighs> blows on your face. Cats hate that. <laughs> he just he grabs the sword and walks away. All right. Him, I showed him a quick message. I know I'm right. Can, can you stop talking in my mind? You're not invited. You know what? Here, he just like he 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 can't. And he tries to put a mind barrier up, so he can't communicate with him. How tall is Agum? 
I'll go, I think he's like nine feet tall. Ooh! That's the highest vantage point I've had so far. It is. Olzanon was a little bit taller than Twig. Twig is pretty yeah. tall, though. I can't remember how tall Twig is, though. Like 6'5? Mm -hmm. Good work, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, you go in. Uh, yeah, well, you go down the path. Tall. You as you guys are leaving the 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 castle, descending down the flights of stairs, following Tavon down the road through this Feywild forest. You look to the left, and it's just charred, it's just black forest all around the immediate area. That's uh, new. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> Ogum just looks at you smiling. Just like his, like, Oni, the demon teeth just coming out of his mouth. <laughs> oh, I guess he looks like Twig. <laughs> In that sense. <laughs> Are we tooth buddies? Oh, I mean, you know, as long as you didn't, you like my jokes, you know. Well, I don't. Tavon does. Tavon does? <gasps> Tavon's the one that left. I don't like your joke. Oh. <laughs> I'll see you. <laughs> but where'd you find that Moonglee, by the way? We've been searching that since, like, episode two. <laughs> oh. Hey, CJ, I'll let you explain that. Explain what? <laughs> I'm a jet. Just, what? you know, I'm, when you have a let, moment. I'm gonna... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, let me tell you something. Tavon laughs at jokes. Once in a while. I've only heard him laugh at jokes. Let me see. One, two, three times before today. Do you know hmm. why that is? Because you haven't found the right joke. Something like that. Something like all that. Right. You all, see, right, he, all right. You see, Tavon lives by the motto, play with your food. Wait. Yeah, and then he just, and then Agum just walks away, just <laughs> chuckling well, to himself. Wait, hang on. And Twig is just like kind of like wait, wait, hold, hold, hold on, hold. Just follow him. <laughs> okay, party. So then, uh, if there's no other comments or uh, things you guys feel you need to do before following Tavon into the depths of oblivion, speak now or forever oh. hold your peace because Tavon is making a beeline straight for the other castle that was in the distance that you saw you know yeah. I feel I feel like we're about to get into some serious shit and I'm kind of tethered to the cat is there any way you can not tether huh? me to the cat so I can like kind of support my best of my ability what will you exchange for it DLT <laughs> Swear fealty to I me will, when I am king. I will, I will make sure you do not die. I have Algum for that. Algum heal people? I can heal people. Oh, that's what you mean. No, <laughs> I suppose I do not. Well, I suppose if you heal me, then I can heal you. I'll t untether you at the very least. Obviously, I can't heal you. Your potato arm is, well, hideous. <laughs> and why do you smell of bacon constantly? I assume we all do at this point. That's a fair point. Oh, Actually, you. you guys were just bathed <laughs> yeah. in the wild magic True. attack. Yeah, in the wild oh, magic sure. battle, you guys were all... Yeah. Oh, you we pressed to digitate thing. yourself. Yes, okay. Yeah, you're... Yes, the cat is perfect. We know. Okay. And Buckshot actually smells better uh, before he entered the tower. <laughs> <laughs> He's, uh, um, ver very well, then I shall grant your wish. So long as you promise to heal me in the coming battle, because I feel like it will be difficult. The last time I saw that throne room, well, my mother was the one sitting there. You can. All right. Come here. And he goes over. And the little carpet kind of talks. All, Don't let him touch me. Don't let him touch me. The carpet, you're right. Why would you call the carpet British accent? And why is it so bad? <laughs> it's, it's a creepy. Wow. Um, well... 
I'm sorry, Carpet. I know you just woke up. This is the beginning of your sentience, but it is also the end. Goodbye. And he puts his hand on the carpet, and the the the, the little carpet just goes. What? No, no. And it just like stops talking, and you no longer feel tied to to winter. It was the carpet. Well, it is no longer, at least. That you can Good confirm. Win, win. <laughs> oh my god! All right, just my fully unexisted a whole being. Just because you don't want to be close to winter, your friend. Wow. Wow. It's it's more if I have to be close to someone else, I can't get closer to other people to help. That's a fair point. <laughs> that's, 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 oh, actually, fair point. Yeah. You imagine being in battle and like Winter's over here behind a rock, casting sp slinging spells with the foes, <laughs> and you're just like, I, I can't. The cats, I can't reach you. The cat's over here. I just can't. Yeah, the, the spell <laughs> snipers way the fuck over there. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty feet. Away. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, so, mm -hmm. Just as we are walking down uh, with Tarvan, uh, Basil is just going to very, uh, very subtly use shape water to put out the fires on the forest and then tend plants to yep. make the trees grow back. Indeed. Just very, very, very subtly. I'm like hanging kind of at the back of the group. So. Uh, the, if really doesn't know lips. <laughs> <laughs> yep, the Ifridi is not really paying attention, kind of whistling to himself as he walks along. Right. So, um, yeah, great. Um, I do see the chat question of what are little things on the bottom of the screen. Those are little stream avatars. So if you follow or subscribe, uh, there's a little module on our main channel, a panel that says stream avatars. You can get a little free one right there just for following. And you can decorate them and stuff. It's pretty cool. And during breaks, which we're about to take, you get to do break fight battles of each other. The battle. So yeah, little battle royale. So uh, viewers, thank you. We will be right back for in a few minutes. Don't go anywhere. And we will come back for as the party arrives at the castle of the BBEG of this campaign, the Mistress of Madness. All right, don't go anywhere. And welcome ah. back into It's a Crit. I am CJ, the DM here. Welcome to our campaign, Feywild Follies. Uh, with me today, as always, are my friends here. We have Nettie, then Ty, Hi. then Aaron down on the bottom. We have Dom and then Chris running their respective crazy characters here. Uh, last we left off right now, the party is on their way with Tavan, which was potential bbeg turned ally turned mm -hmm. victim turned uh, mm -hmm. ally again i'm not sure uh and agum one of his trusty followers um party you were on your way to the castle of the mistress of madness the once leader of buckshot's lizard folk clan turned well at this point, foe, I suppose, Buckshot. I'm not sure how you're, you feel. What is Buckshot's like feelings and thoughts on the way before you arrive? What is going through Buckshot's mind, having gone through this roller coaster of emotions and allegiance changes? I mean, your your clan was pledged to her. Your clan's home is literally called Queenswood. It's Queenswood after the queen. So like, whoa, what do you, she raised it to the ground. So what are you doing now? What are you feeling, thinking? Uh, uh, a lot, of, a lot of emotions. That's unfair. <laughs> it is the Feywild. <laughs> um, that is the, technically the most accurate description. I mean, not like gonna be real. <laughs> not, not so good, grim even. Yeah. But um, blood has to be paid in blood. Blood for blood. You heard it here, viewers. Buckshot's out for blood. Party, you are being dragged along for the ride. After all, you guys were camping uh, by yourselves when you first met Buckshot, when he emerged from the woods with his lizardfolk hunting party to fight these armored figures on the bridge, and you guys just like, yeah, let's help them fight. <laughs> um, yeah, so, well. Ashley, what, what were you guys doing out there? Good question. Not what were Crescendo was asleep. That's <laughs> <laughs> Mischief. 
I was looking for my. Took us looking for his family, man. That's true. Looking for petunias. True. And you found lavender and killed a guy with one. <clears throat> I did. Do I have time to make? You plenty of time. Do I have time to make lavender tea <laughs> bombs on the way uh, there? Bombs? Yes, bombs. How, what do you? How are you do gonna you make have a? Tools for that? Yeah, what are you gonna? How are you gonna make a bomb? Well, no, it doesn't have to be a bomb. Oh. It can just be like a, like a water balloon. What are you gonna fill it with? Like, did you find some animal and like use the intestines and like tie it off as like a little <laughs> little sacks to throw at the? No, you use I'm like using you leaves. Oh. How dare you? I'm a vegetarian, I have you know. Says the one who bit off an enemy's head once. You ate the crab, remember? I did not. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't quite recall, but yeah, um, I knew those crabs had boomsticks. That was good times. We, so we don't have time for a I long rest. I crab. <laughs> Before you guys arrive, Tabon will look to you and so he will stop. <laughs> What is up ahead will not be easy. If you need to rest, do it now. All right. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm actually good because I was petrified the whole battle. <laughs> oh, that's right. You know, yeah. He was petrified for oh, the yeah. previous battle, so he didn't actually All have to right. fight anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, as for the rest of you. Oh, yeah. oh, wait, Aaron, you just used a potion, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm down a couple of spell slots though. Okay, perfect. So, so party, you will long rest. Nice. When you awake, it, mm -hmm. it will be the beginning of a new day. And by beginning, I mean literally midnight. Yeah. So that's okay. gonna be new we new weather. It is new weather. It doesn't really matter. You're gonna be inside. Oh. But I will I will roll the weather for you if that makes. That makes I'll you happy. I'll prestigitate everyone to get rid of the sticky rain if the weather is not sticky rain again. Okay, it is today. The weather will be clear oh. skies. Nice. If it's a new day, can he fix my fucking arm? So, oh, viewers, you can see the weather today is nice and clear, not rainy anymore. Huh. Best winter weather. Because <laughs> you're winter and it's. It's actually summertime though, so I mean that's. <laughs> Don't encourage me. It makes me ho tell horrible jokes. All right, so here we go. Uh, if it's a new day, and he fixed my arm. Oh, right, the arm. <laughs> it looks to you as um. Hmm. All right, let's try this one more time. Roll a d4. Like oh God. No. It's a three. So he looks hey. to your potato. He looks at your potato arm. This one won't do. And he throws it off to the side. The, the Mr. Potato Head arm that fell off your arm, your actual arm, and he goes that to your chest. Right that was yeah, it was. The, yeah, he goes to your arm, <laughs> in your chest, <laughs> and he kind of begins to, to to cant, to begin his incantation, and he pulls off the arm and just like smurges it onto the right side. So now you have two left hands. Um. So you have your left hand on your left hand, and then you have a left hand on your right hand. Yeah, like that. Like Nettie's showing us right now on screen. That's how your hands are like. Does this work? Not I mean, I guess we can't really do a fucking anything about it now, so let's just fucking go. Wait, was Christian no left or right-handed before? Oh, God. Right-handed. Oh, oh God. no. Oh, you're so sorry. <laughs> 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 mm, you're fucked. Mm. It'll be fine. Time to, time to reassess those fine motor skills. That you know, you with, got. with all of Crescendo's like uh, drunken nights where he's he's been passed out and had a really crazy thoughts, uh, discussions with random people in taverns uh, from all walks of life, uh, you actually feel like with two left hands, Crescendo, you might you might actually be able to pull out an advantage, and. Uh, and you'll have a plus one to your spell, your your spell, uh, spell modifier. Fuck! Because of all the strange <laughs> theories that the strange drunken theories you've had on random nights in random cities, uh, you think you can you can work with this. Oh, that's so cool. That is actually kind of fucking nice. I'll yeah. take it. I just keep getting the cool magic shit, I guess. <laughs> Two left hands. Yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> what, is, what does that give me? It's a plus one to your spell, like any spell attack modifier. Okay. Oh, so like a one of the war mage plus one. Yep. <laughs> At least I'll you just... didn't have to buy Pentevis for that. That's fair. I'll just, I'll just yeah. remember to add one to all my shit. Mm -hmm. is, it, is, uh, is it saves two or just attacks? Just the attacks. Oh, no, I guess I should. No, yeah, it's just attacks. No, no, no. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> just attacks. Um, and Twig, because of because of the fact that you're now 700 pounds uh, with lightning speed, though, uh, you're definitely, for any grapple checks, you'll have advantage on anything that you can grapple. Ooh. Welcome back, Migidi. Eater of families. Oh, my gosh. I was about to write. I Wait, love that, sounds, that, sounds like, that sounds like Tavon. Tavon? Kind Tavon of. eats creatures, too? Well, I mean, it, Twig might I'm pretty know sure something we all about eat that. Creatures. Twig laughs at. Twi oh. Talvon's only laughed at four twigs. jokes, remember? Ever. Did Talvon eat Twig's family? Alright, I got Tasha's hitting this time. So, anyway, um. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you, you continue to follow Talvon after waking up. He rushes you all off. Yes, Ty. I get the lavender tea water balloon. Oh, oh, I forgot. <laughs> um. <sighs> Roll a d4. <laughs> Yay! It's a, it's gonna be a d4 minus two, so your max is two. Okay, that's fine. Come on. So it's nice. two. Wow. So you actually get two. All right then. Way to roll max randomly. Thanks. Oh uh, yeah. I do not want you to have lavender bombs. That's why I did that. But you did it anyway. So. I got lavender bombs. Me, Giddy the chef is a recommended name. Nice. Thank you. I will write that in. Okay. On that note, party. Anyone else I'm before Tav Tavan like is like, I'm are we ready to go now? And he looks and he sees Buckshot about to say something. Yes. I'm gonna like sneakily uh pick up a Chris Angel's right arm. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean Tavan did throw it, so I mean So I'm I'm gonna give it to him. I'm gonna give it to I'm gonna give it to Buckshot. I'm gonna climb onto Make sure you Posture check, that's what you're gonna do. Alright. No. Uh, <laughs> okay, now you can do hydrate. something. Oh, and hydrate. Hydrate. Jesus and hydrate. Christ. Stop caring about our our well being, fucking god. What? Okay, so Buckshot, you now I have Crescendo's third arm. Is it his third arm or is it his second arm it was, because it's anyway. my original right hand yeah i mean <laughs> i mean like now it's your third arm though it's been demoted i don't know and how does the arm hierarchy just... work what do you demote an arm <laughs> i'll be the next campaign next campaign we figure it out all yeah. arm. <laughs> oh ty uh boss idea bo 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 uh, yeah boss ability idea now okay Emote arm. I'm so <laughs> you confused. Guys, some of you have played Elden Ring, right? Oh God. Yeah. Okay. I haven't been able to yet. All right. Cool. Anyway, so. Oh he, no, So he's looking I at the party. Know. Are we ready? Because this will be potentially the last moments. Some of you take breath. This fight will not be easy. I doubt that my sister will go down as easily as Celariel. Wait, I thought it was your mom. No, no, she's not my. She's not my mom. Mm. It's just mistress of mad. M O. -M. Who wants to say mistress of madness? It's just mad. So we just say mom for mistress of M O M. Mistress of mad. Ma uh, never mind. What? Who is ready to go? While climbing onto um, Agum's shoulder again, while glaring at, at Talvon. Why are you glaring at Talvon? Because he won't let me speak to my friends about the cool things that I've realized and about maybe other things that I want to talk about. Where's tinfoil hat, Critty? You know, we do we do need it as an alert. I said we I... didn't, but you know what? I think we do. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> Viewer, new viewers, uh, Nettie here uh, comes up with tinfoil hat theories all the time. So if you like conspiracy theories, hang out with her. All right, so. Yeah. And I'll see. All right. Well... Is there anything we should know about her when we fight her? Like, is she good with spells, magic, or weapons? Or does she have a lot of people that fight for her? And I start, like, doing, like, uh, this kid 
Just kidding, again, on, on, on Agum's shoulder. She... Well, she's mad for a reason. She's unpredictable. Let's just what say that rate. it's potential... It's possible that... She brings out the worst fears you have. And uses them against you. I don't have fears. Let's hope that is true. Then you should be impervious oh. to her. Okay. What does that mean? It means you won't die, kitty cat. Oh, that's nice. You know, why don't you want to talk about all of that? <sighs> My patience grows thin, and I have much to consider and reflect upon. Does anyone else have serious questions? Uh, yeah, I do, actually. What about that one uh, lady that we <laughs> fought in the real world? Is she going to be in there? Safara? Yeah. The far you, far, far. you didn't dispatch her. Tell me you dispatched her when I went through the portal. Uh, oh, she I, ran away. Yeah, she got away. Well, Twig, you were on the other side with me. I know you were gone, but the rest of you, tell me. He went after you. Did you not see her? No. Oh, well, she definitely no. jumped back into the portal. A well, good thing she told me that I she would kill me last. What was that? <laughs> huh? Is it something you wish to share with the party? The last time we fought her, when you were gone and Twig was gone, she said to me that she would kill me last. Uh huh. Uh, I didn't like that either. Well, not that she like not that I want to get killed first or anything, but also uh I kind of don't want to get killed like at all. I see. General. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Agum. Agum. What? Yeah, yes. Can you deal with that one? No. Oh. That's my ex wife. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> What's that? So that's not the one you're looking for? It is. Why? Well, you see, I intend to go into this fight. Mm -hmm. Kill all the rest. Kill the Mistress mm -hmm. of Madness. Mm -hmm. Maybe save you, some of you. And mm -hmm. then when she's weak, mm -hmm. I will reconfess my love to her. It'll break the spell and we'll be together forever. <gasps> I can help with that. And I'll press to digitate sparkles. Oh my god. He'll just like breathe little puffs of smoke out of his mouth. <laughs> We're a great are, team. We are. Um, excuse me, Agum, and uh, well, everyone who is here and uh, part of the Feywild. I, uh, I have come across a discovery, and I believe that you may not want to be close to uh, the area where I intend to use it. Why is that? Um, because it will destroy you. Oh. That sounds, <laughs> well, that sounds horrible. Uh, yeah, so... I was just going to uh, warn you now, Agum, if you want to keep uh, Safara alive, probably drive her away from where the Mistress of Madness is. Because I, I don't know how big the, the area of effect will be. Uh oh, okay, well. Uh. Oh. That's a good point. Yeah, I just thought you ought to know since you want to. You, since you love her and stuff. I do love her. And mm. I hate her. But I love her. But I hate oh, her. Sorry, bro. But I, th I think I love her. No, I do love her. You know, that makes sense. Like, I know that my mom, well, my cat mom, that she loved me, but she said that she hated me. So I think that just comes with love. No, you're in denial. Your mother did hate you. Oh, no, she loves me. Like, <laughs> no, my no, dragon no. 
does. No, no, no. no she, no, she, no, no. Uh, she, uh, she, she does. She uh, probably. Uh, what, what? What? What tooth buddy? No. What is a tooth buddy? <clears throat> tooth buddy. Like we just, we're just not gonna. We're just gonna move past that. All right. So you also recognize, as a father yourself, that her mother doesn't love her, right? You know, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna ask this, and I'm just gonna say, if I die. I want you guys to find my wife and kids and say that I died heroically fa fought in the Feywild and we're just not going to bring up the very sad backstory of what I'll make sure to tell them you suplex the entire queen Thank you, I would love that actually <laughs> oh my god mm. Great Well then of character question does Taban look dexterous or very like he's very um he has a lot of constitution <laughs> just for um no reason at all whatsoever oh no <laughs> he has a lot of AOE he's, spells he's thin but he is indeed um he's extra he, he he's very he looks quite dexterous okay, and his good. constitution does look well enough Okay, cool. So he's not uh, frail mm -hmm. like crescendo. Oh, he's gonna kill me. He's gonna fuck it. He's gonna think I do that on purpose. He's gonna murder me. Guys, you better <laughs> get ready to defend me from Talbon. Just saying. Oh he's my god, lean but hardy figure. Can we go one boss at a time, please? All right, Lord. Mhm. Mm well. You're so dead. Oh yeah, alright, percent He's all. Are we done then? Anyone else? No. I think that is all. He turns around. His tail coat <laughs> flaps in the wind again. And forward. And he goes forward. And after a little, maybe like five minutes or so, he turns off the trail into the for into the into just the woods. And not too far deep in there, you see these, again, those massive mushrooms that you saw before with the caps that are 40 feet high, wide, 100 feet tall. And then they sort of block out the trees almost in an immediate area, leading to this small little w grove. And at the grove, it's just, um, there's a beautiful little pond at the bottom, kind of descending down onto this little pond. And on top of the pond are floating these water lilies, giant water lilies. That look like you could stand on them and f and on those water lilies about halfway down the down is this just gold magical door almost like a fey gate just oh. sitting there not up against anything behind it just floating on top of these water lilies uh transparent except for the the the, the elegant and fancy engravings all swirling and you're whirling about, you can see, uh, you can see right through the door, ex uh, not what's beyond it, but it's transparent except this itself, except for the gold-trimmed swirls and designs engraved all around it. And it just sits there. He's on. This must be it. I don't know what's behind this door anymore. He's on. Now, now that we're here, uh, roll me an arcana check. Uh, casting players. And buckshot. Yes! Should I okay. use my inspiration? And Dom, I guess, just for fun. Okay. Oh That's my god. Oh my Why? 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 God. Why? Why? Oh, Why? What the fuck? Why are there two wow. nat 20s? Here we go. Oh. And then we have Twig. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Come on, Dice. Okay, Why is there another nat 20? 20? Are you kidding? Why did. <laughs> yes, yes. Keep Sorry, them coming. What? Use all your nat 20s now, right before the fight. Use them all. <laughs> there was three nat 20s. Hey, Buckshot. Buckshot. Okay, so. Crescendo has a net 24, 24. I have a net 24, 26. And Buttshot oh has a gosh. net 24, 19. Yes. Oh, Dark Hollow yep. One. Hello, welcome in. Thank you for the follow, my friend. Go ahead and create a little Heck stream yeah. avatar at the bottom of the panel. And so you can have a little guy running across the bottom of our screen, too. Welcome in. Um, that was insane. I, what? what? Yes, use all the net 20s right now, We're guys. Right before so the fight. This, this the is the fight. BBEG fight of a short story campaign that's ending. This is where players die. Let's go. This is good. Yep. <laughs> Why am I still a Morbonder? Why am I still? That'll change right <laughs> no, now. Don't worry about it. Still a <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So, uh, before the uh, he goes up to he he puts himself between you and the door, and he looks at the party, and what is it? All five of you plus Agum, 
Well, I'm nine, nine foot. I'm not, I'm nine foot tall, like uh, up in the air. Well, I'm pretty sure he can't yeah. be between me and the gate. He put himself between you guys and the gate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's standing I in the middle. He he turns around and looks at the party and just visualizes. You know, he sees an orc barbarian, six and a half feet tall. He sees Buckshot, the lizard folk ranger. Um, I forgot how tall you are, like six feet or something. <laughs> five ten. I forgot as well. Okay, perfect. You know, Crescendo, you're five. Like five eight. Yeah, you're like five eight. You have Basil, which is now. Uh, God, you guys are all almost like six feet tall, huh? You're like between five, five and six feet. No. Except I'm, well, I'm short. I'm oh, like 5'3". Okay, you're 5'3". So I'm it's, an just, old it's literally like this giant orc. So you see a large orc barbarian. You see the lizard folk just a little shorter. You see Crescendo, which is just about the same height, more or less. That awesome R bard, right? And then you just see like Ty the turtle, just like... <laughs> just like Ty the turtle? <laughs> I'm an Ty, old turtle. Yeah, the... the <laughs> You see, yeah, Basil, and then last is Agum, the giant nine-foot fire Afridi NPC joined you with just a little cat on top. <laughs> so. You may be asking yourselves why this looks like a fey gate in the fey wild, and no, this no. is not a way home. And if you're not asking that question, looking up the cat, don't expect to leave with your life. Your ignorance will be your downfall. All right. Yeah, I'd rather not fall down. Yeah. Just... Uh, how do you... How do you... How, you choose to travel... Uh, whatever. <laughs> what is this <laughs> hatred between the cat and me? And... <laughs> and, and, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. and it all started at the start of the session, too. <laughs> <laughs> just... God. Hey, uh... It's all good. Hey Twig, how do you feel? How, how would you feel about being real big for this? I mean, I love it. I love being real big. You, you, you are wouldn't real big. be you, but you'd be real big. <laughs> uh, oh. Really, really big? Like oh. giant eight big. He's gonna weigh. He's gonna weigh the yeah. same weight as a car and be six feet tall. Like that's gonna <laughs> be. <laughs> do it. All right. So this gate is. Um, well, I believe it leads to a demi-plane, where the court is located, inside of the Fey Gate, or the Fey Wild. Huh. That means that if we can't get her out of there, and we must face her inside, she holds the upper hand. Be prepared to fight with everything you've got. Hold nothing back. And maybe, with enough luck, you will once again breathe the fine air that from the Feywild. Are there any questions before we head in? Real questions, looking at the cat. Well, I have a lot, but you, you said I, I'm not allowed to ask them, so... What do you want to know, cat? This is your last moment anyway. What is it? Was there a fourth person? Wait, I already know that. Who was the fourth person? I am the was fourth I person. Right? What? What about the others? You said there was two down. Yes. Plus me is who three. Was the first one? Yeah. Plus who was the first one? The mistress. That is none of your concern. But there's a reason we were in the Feywild the first time, when your party interfered. Hmm. All right. Um. Why? How did this all happen? Was the Mistress of Madness... Well, that's, that is a mouthful, you're right. Was she the one who initiated all of this? Can... Or was it something else? What? Well, you know how you, like, you kind of were like one person, maybe, and then you... I'm, one person? I'm, I mean, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not repeating what I said earlier. Um, you know how, like, you're now, like, stuck like this? Was that someone else who did that, or was that Minerva? Minerva is the one that cursed me. Mm, she so is the one of the four of us huh? that took power once our mother passed. Mm. Mm. She is the one that, well, stole the moon blade from me, but now I have it. With yeah. this blade, I can claim what is mine. My birthright. Hmm. 
You no, sound like you're thinking too much. Are you sure you're... that smoke is not coming from your ears instead of the fire freedy you're standing on? Yep. You know, I was gonna ask if you're gonna be a better leader than she is, but I don't care. Let's go! Hmm. Well. All I can say is that I will be. All I have is my word. You've heard the testimonies of my followers. What I've done for each of them. I care about my own. And I would do anything for any of them. Within my power. Okay. Sounds good. To you as well? Guys? Well, you're very far down. <laughs> uh, Tavon. Um, do you want to lead the charge or hang out, hang out in the back in the back of the group? Because uh, the last time someone le led the charge, he got brutally murdered on the spot. Ah, oh, well, perhaps you should go in first, and I'll head off to the side behind. I am better at casting. All right. Good. I'm okay with that. Oh, I'm I gonna cast. Um, Max Stones Prepare before, beforehand Okay Is it, Should we put the turtle in front as well? It looks strong, it can take a hit Yeah, yeah. That is uh, pretty fair to say And who else goes in front? You? Pretty just looking, looking down and Just kicking a rock, just like Oh, I'm strong <laughs> yeah. oh, no. You look strong, oh. you do Perhaps you can go in front as well then I mean, if you insist, yeah, I'll go. I'll go in first too. Okay. Yeah, I'll go. What? Are you gonna be up in front? Hell no. That's where the people go to die. Awesome. What? You stand in the second line, so you can be the first to attack. Awesome. I'm gonna stay with you then for now. Perfect. And you, I'm... carpet riding, <laughs> double armed man. How did double arm men get to be an insult? <laughs> <laughs> I'm. Oh, you're muted up here. Oh yeah. Since I was just pointing out that everybody is double armed. <laughs> yes. He's <laughs> all. <laughs> you had a blessing of three, and you removed it by choice. Not wrong. Mm. I tried to remove it by force. Oh god. <laughs> mm, I did see that. Quite impressive strength, as a matter of fact. Yeah, um, I, I, have a, I have a lot of crocodile blood. Yeah. Well, I don't know what a crocodile is, but that sounds terrifying. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's like an alligator. Yeah, what's that? Uh, crescendo. What? I mean, you're familiar with the four-legged type. <laughs> I'm so glad I expected oh my to take a sip. I'm I'm so going. <laughs> okay. Sip. All right, I'm just not gonna turn you into a giant ape then. No, I'm kidding. I'm oh. sorry. Oh my Wait, god. You know. <laughs> oh my god. Turn myself into a giant ape and throw you at stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what a T-Rex again? <laughs> Uh, oh, no. giant ape would kind of be bad. Okay. Okay. Um. So before we go in, I am going to prepare to cast guiding bolt. Yep. Uh. So. The, um. It, this is a little bit different to the other times that I've been casting. Uh huh. Because this time you'll see the familiar snout appear. The elongated kind of scale covered with a lot of teeth. More draconic in nature. Oh. And the guiding bolt is just a little ball of light that is starting to shine between the teeth. Alright. Like a miniature Godzilla. Like a... <laughs> like a miniature Godzilla. You hear yeah. in your head a very whispered voice. I knew it. <laughs> Alright Well then, if there's nothing else, party Take a deep breath 
and let us and then breathe it out. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. And he turns around and just walks towards the door <laughs> and just walks into the door and just like disappears, like dematerializes as he walks through it, like on the other side of the doorway. It doesn't open, but you can see him turn to like, like glitter and sparkle on the other side. Oh, that poor guy. <laughs> Yeah, Agum we, just we really starts making his life difficult. Agum just says, all right, I'm next. And he just kind of walks and uh, travels through as well, dematerializing as he walks into this phantasmal doorway, essentially. I'm gone too. Yep. Looks at, yeah, you're all gone. Yep. So this is the time I'm... for you guys to turn around and leave Winter behind. <laughs> <laughs> I am it's grasping. Cool. As soon as everyone goes through the door, you just gotta smash it. <laughs> Why? You smash the door? Okay. <laughs> oh god. Wait, what? You smash the door? <laughs> no, no, that was a joke. Like, as soon as everyone <laughs> entered the door, I'm on, I'm on the outside, smashed it, and just run away. <laughs> Are you sure it's a joke? <laughs> you motherfuckers. <laughs> I was working for the queen. Well, I still. <laughs> Can you imagine? So, just to confirm, you don't smash the door? No, no. Alright. I actually want revenge. Okay. I mean, yeah, she did raise the town to the ground, so that's like a fair reason to want revenge, but yeah. Okay, party, you enter a beautiful, massive chamber. Red stone laid tiles, red stone walls, engravings on the ground, gold gilded embroidered floors. Uh, and blood stains everywhere. Toppled tower gives cover, uh, giant games, bodies, and a massive throne at the very end of the hall. Roll a perception check for me, Twig. All right. Oh, that was almost in that one. Oh, <laughs> okay. that All was right. almost good. Dom, can you see my little pointer? Yeah. If you could, if you could squeeze in on that one for me, just go ahead and zoom oh, in. Oh no! Oh, zoom in or? Yeah, yeah, you can just oh. zoom in. Okay. Oh. So. No. So the the throne is empty, and you just hear a. <laughs> Tavon, welcome home, brother. How have you been? I didn't think you would have made it this far. And you brought friends. More friends. I can add them to my collection. I'm not here to surrender, Minerva. I'm here for what's mine. And I will take it by force. Oh, Force, it's always my favorite game. <laughs> oh, is that an orc? Another one. What's your name, stranger? Does Twig recognize the little body? Uh, it's a doll. Oh. <laughs> you do recognize, <laughs> but guess what doll that is? Is it one of his kids doll? Go. Twig just It is indeed. Sliding. It's Lokai's doll. And next to Lokai's doll. Well, with your perception check, that's all you saw actually, is the doll. So Twig is just going to go right to it, not going to say anything. There he goes. <laughs> oh. But he's kind of like... And then a figure materializes on the throne, just sitting, her legs crossed. You see a... an elegant... Summer Laudron. You know, the flowers in her hair, elf-like, the eyes are orange. Just a regal gown themed in autumn. Just splashes of blood. Random places across her face and across the dress. She seems to pay no heed.
another orc and what do we have here a lizard folk i didn't think any of you made it out of the town <laughs> how exciting oh and what are you a frog oh a dragon looking at me <laughs> yeah she's looking at you i'm just straight up not paying attention to her to, to be I'm fair she's quite far away it's hard to see I don't yeah. have my glasses on. Well, she's she'll 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 make uh she'll use an illusion spell and kind of create this massive like screen version of herself talking just above. It co it's like it's like a forty foot diameter like monitor screen essentially of her just talking to you guys. Never mind. It's not that I don't have my glasses on. When she starts talking to me, I just take them off. <laughs> <laughs> I will not be ignored. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Anafridi. Oh, what's that? Oh, you know that Afridi. Then I'll leave you to him. Oh God. <laughs> and is that a rat? It's so fluffy, though. Rat. Oh. I'm looking at you, white-faced one. And then she looks at Crescendo. No, not you. You're oh! also white-faced, aren't you? No, the other one with the scales. Hello! I've never seen a rat this size before. Me you neither. must tell me. How are you made? No one's explained that to me yet. I asked a couple times, but no one wanted to answer. Uh, Agum will like lean over. He's all, we we have to have the birds and the bees conversation later. It's not a good it's not a good time. But I'm neither a bird nor a bee. It's a figure of speech, cat. I will explain oh. it. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Twig can explain okay. it better than me, actually. Okay. Wait, where's he going? We can talk about that later. Oh no. And why do you have two left hands? Oh. <laughs> Oh, Tavon, what, what toys you brought this time? They're so interesting. They're so unique. Oh, brother, you shouldn't have. I didn't. Oh, God, she's so irritating. I agree with that. So what brings you here, aside from turning yourselves in to, well... Your master. Any of you? I'm just keeping a close eye on Twig. Where is she? No, I'm I'm on my throne. Yes, I, you can see me. Look, Where look up. Where is my daughter? Your daughter? I don't know. Who are you? The little half orc girl. Where is she? Oh, the half orc girl. I'll never tell. <laughs> but he I can. This is great, Thorn. Just on the spot. Oh, now, now, now. Calm down. We don't have to get so hasty. It will be an inevitable end for you, nonetheless, and you will be able to see her soon. You can join her. Come here. Kneel before me. And I'll give her back to you in an instant. All you have to do is kneel. And I will give you. All of them back. Are they alive? Come kneel. Twig is shaking right now. Are they alive? You just hear a clean, uh, like a random key sound hit the wall. Like there was no key thrown, but sound effect. And you see her sort of reach down with like mage hand down to her left, your guys' right, there's like a a square stone um, just like basin and inside you just see the, the, the mage hand dip in with this giant goblet and just the red blood just like rolling off of it and the mage hand brings the goblet up to her and she just <sighs> ah, yes oh it's fresh, it's so good 
Come, which of you first? Give yourselves unto me, so that I may bless you. And if not, then you can end up like, well, everyone else across the floor. And there is just like a multitude of bodies just strewn about. In varying states of decay, some fresh, some not. You can hear <laughs> Winter's stomach growl. Oh god. <laughs> Stupid cat. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Um. Uh, I'm gonna uh, step forward and head towards her. And Twig is gonna rage and he is going to. charge at her. Fuck yeah. <laughs> um, so what? in the time that it takes Twig to charge at her, I can I think I can cast like two or three spells. <laughs> Alright, Twig, you grab your axe, you charge at her, and we'll take a quick seven minute break and find out what happens after. Ooh. Don't go anywhere. And hello, welcome back into It's a Crit. I am CJ, the DM here. This is our story, Feywild Follies, a short story campaign. Uh, episode 17 Hello. of up to 20. I don't know if we're going to get to 20 with these guys already going to face head to head with the BBEG. Nettie's here with me, Ty, Aaron on top as well, and then Dom and Chris on the bottom. So right now Hello. we just left off, and I think that the music needs to change. <laughs> because you think? Uh, Twig starts running towards the Mistress of Madness herself. Raged. Veins bulging out of his throat. <laughs> Buckshot running as well. And as she sees them all running, she's like, ah, ah, ah. Snaps her fingers. Time slows. The entire room. This is my home. This is my turf. And here, I am God. What? Cool. Niklaus. Safara. Rapidon Cheddar. No! Osnan. No! Not Rapidon Wake Cheddar! Wake up. Oh. Crescendo, this is your moment. This is you. This is you on gotta you. Do something. You In... gotta do something, dude. And on oh. the chairs around her and behind her, you see a celestial oh. deva oh. ascend into a blue chair. You see Sephora from before, the crystalline entity creature. Also, apparently, Agum's ex-wife on the purple chair. On the green chair lands a little tiny pig with celestial wings who then grows into a giant thunderous warthog. And then Oznan ascends up from the pool of blood, takes his seat on the red throne, uh, and looks to you all. You see above her on her chair, four runes of different colors appear. <laughs> And over her, a field of light. So, unsnap her finger. Party, roll initiative. Oh, oh guys, you gotta get me close. You gotta get me close to that shit. I have a spell for this. Oh, come on, good initiative, good initiative, good initiative. Who rolled the oh. four? Oh, who was that? Nobody. Okay, thank gosh. <laughs> Yeah. Good, that's good, that's good. Oh, that's really good. We're doing really good, guys. Oh. Alright, here we go. Why is there a plus 16 to my initiative? Why was it a plus six, plus 16? <laughs> How? Yeah. Why, I why do we have Christian as a 17? I got a plus 8. What's the deck score? It's the deck score. It doesn't get as a point, uh, point one six oh. anymore. It gets added as a separate number. So this oh. still works, I guess, if it happened for the enemies, too. Okay, interesting. Let's see what the enemies roll, shall we? Oh, my. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my. God. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. I rolled Safara. Oh, hey, we can see your Safara. initiatives. Really, total. Oh, my God. Interesting. Oh, good lord. Um, it's because the D&D table updated today, the 5e module thing, and so oh, some, of the, yeah. some of the mods themselves won't work anymore, so I think I lost one of those. That hides you know it. What's you know, with Safara having uh, such a high initiative, I do not want to be on Agum's shoulder anymore. But I'm well, stuck there for a while. You are stuck. He will grab you by the scruff. Because he'll be like, all right, don't go anywhere. And he grabs you. Uh, <laughs> get me close. Get me close. 
All right. First up, then, party. Safara. Oh God. She's. You see the. You can see from across the room, just those cold steel blue eyes, just blank, piercing through the room, right towards Agum. <laughs> Why are you here? Ugh. I'll deal with you first. And she will take to the sky and fly 40 feet behind a pillar. <laughs> and sprint. Okay, next up, Crescendo. Oh, God. Um, Minerva is after. I'm going to start strafing this way. Oh, that's good. Cool. Viewers, this is where all of those points of inspiration you guys granted to the party will hopefully come in handy. They can use those points of inspiration to increase their attacks to hit, their saving throws, all of those kinds of little boosts and bonuses by announcing it. So hopefully they can use everything you've granted them. Uh, strafing to the left and seeing Twig immediately pissed off, I'm going to cast Polymorph on Twig and turn him into a giant ape. Twig is going to be a giant ape. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. All right, Twig. Polymorphed you are. Never done. Boom! Twig, you are now a giant ape. No different Ooh. than before. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wowie. That's fucking rude. <laughs> He yeah, just started a combat is. with a creature in a demiplane of its own ruling. It's fine. Ah. Yep, true. <laughs> but uh, somehow I, you lost your chest hair. You did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has less chest hair. <laughs> <laughs> well then. And he has a full set of head of hair. Your Don't DM up all day anymore. Your DM and... literally dropped to you through NPC as directly as possible. If we face her in there, she's a. Cut. <laughs> And then for my bonus action, on top of turning him into a ball, into a giant ape, <laughs> I'm going to inspire him. Okay, you are now also bardically inspired. Is that a word? It is now. Hashtag bardically inspired. Hashtag gyrating crap. Oh, no, wait. Wrong no, campaign. No, no, wrong campaign. <laughs> gyrating crap into Anterium. Watch our Sunday campaign. <laughs> uh, it's supposed to be a D10, not a D6. I don't know why I rolled a D6. Hold on. I see the D10s, yeah, so it is strange. And next up is Minerva, Niklaus, Tavon. Oh my gosh, Winter will be the next human player. That's a oh six. God. That's a plus six, so whatever yeah, we'll you fight. need. Not bad. Plus six, got it's it. Right. Fucked. Okay. What are we gonna, how do we get her out of here? Told us not to fight her in here. He didn't tell us how to get her out of here. What? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, what do you want to do? All right, so Chris, Shendo, if you're done, make sure to hit the intern oh, button, you guys. Sorry. All right. How do we get her out of here? Uh, that's a good question, right? So with oh, that, God. with that fun question, she will uh. apparently break and not be able to roll the dice that she's supposed to. Nice. Next turn. Nice. All right. Cool. Yes. Yeah. What is it? I'll just roll it. Oh, nice. Such an interesting spelling of the name Niklaus. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ. That's a public roll, my bad. Mm -hmm. So anyway, uh, 13 to hit for giant ape twig. Uh, hits. Okay, you can see the damage. That is 21 points. That is four points of piercing and 17 psychic. Rage doesn't like nope. go. No, nope. I was gonna say that's the one it doesn't. Yep. <laughs> uh, I gotta zoom in all the way. Okay, and everybody within Did 60 she feet roll of him. With disadvantage. Or does she have sharpshooter? Oh my god. Yes. Okay. All right. So she, uh, everyone within 60 feet of the ape that hits contact. So it's gonna be 60 feet from this point, I guess. Uh, it strikes him, pains him, and flashes so just a bright psh of light. So everyone roll a uh, con save, please. I'm five feet away. No, if, so if I'm no. in Agum Square, I'm 65 feet away. Oh, uh, yeah. All righty, Buckshot. 
You are blind until the end oh, of uh, her next turn. You did not Holy just nat shit, 20. Crescendo. Crescendo, did you just nat 20 <laughs> save, my friend? I did. Crescendo's hacking. Crescendo, I can't, I, can't, I, can't, I can't even give you like a point of inspiration for nat 20. And Crescendo, I'm going to say um, you're immune to blind for this battle. Fuck it. Let's go. Cool. Holy nice. Shit. You're like, I don't even have eyes. Haha. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> he uses his other extra ar left arm to cover his face. Oh, yeah. If... <laughs> there was an advantage to having two left arms. I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, I'm blinded by uh, his rage as well. You're also blinded by his rage. Yes, and so the rest of you, yeah, so that will put all of you just out of... Wait, no, Basil, you're in... You're 55 nope. feet. You said this square right here, so no, I'm 65 feet Oh, well, away. I mean, okay, I'll give I'll give that to you. I mean, it's the ape, technically. Yes, it's fine. I'll give it to you. You it's said no, that yeah. square. You specifically pointed out that square. If not, I would have it's, taken it, you it's, know. It's okay, it's okay. We like to help players. Let's go. It's going to hurt later. Anyway, it's okay. Not a big deal. All right, so <laughs> here we go. Uh, she kind of just like, huh, he survived. Well, that's fun. I think I'll sit and wait. Niklaus, go. Niklaus. You can see he looks irritated and uh, will indeed fly. No, thanks. What the fuck is this bitch? Niklaus, uh, for, the characters may remember, but the players may not. Niklaus is the name of the celestial that... Um, that, uh... No, hang on. Sorry, I just hit a button. I, somewhere, my, my, my But, um, when, when Jalendiel and, and, uh, and Pandora were telling their, their backstory, their love story, Jalendiel was, um, hunted and almost killed by a Celestial and Pandora. They were hiding. The Celestial commander of, of, uh, of Jalendiel. Jalendiel's a deserter from a Celestial army. That's where yep. they met on the battlefield. They explained the story with the tea. You were drinking the tea with Agum in his house. Anyway, that was just a lore drop. This is Niklaus. This is her commander. Yep. Got this, it. This is the bad did guy from have... Jalendiel's backstory. Did y'all not remember? You know what? No. <laughs> so no anyway, idea. Point, no is, point is, he's here and she's not. Because you guys found a way to allow them to live the rest of their days happily in that demiplane cottage. Yep. Yep. We're so, taking them with us. No, this so is fine. What this you're is telling better. me is he's a celestial. Yes. Yes, yeah. he's a no. celestial crescendo. <laughs> crescendo, oh, tell two... the viewers why you do... why you care. You got two targets, dude. He hates celestials. Let's just leave it at that. Crescendo, <laughs> the Osimar Bard hates. Hey, explain the viewers. Celestials. He hates celestials. Hate. Yeah. Let's just leave it at that. Yeah, I was like, okay, that was thanks, Aaron, for and that I'm... description, my friend. <laughs> Pointing. <laughs> it's okay. Because there is something to know about your character. He's an alcoholic. Make you care about him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he is so. Our character. Uh, yeah, so you'll see. Um, he'll fly 90 feet, as Devos do, and use his bonus action, or his action to fly again 90 feet. You'll see he'll uh, he'll beeline it. Yeah. Right um, there. Why did the game pause? Sorry, I hit the button. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and that will be Niklaus's turn. Tavon. Tavon will now go. Tavon oh. will turn and invis cast invisibility, and he's gone. <laughs> That's paralyzed. Oops, wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> He will cast invisibility and then run. Oh, fucking bitch. He, you can see, you guys know, Basil will be able to tell that Tavon's running uh, towards the towards the um, eastern wall to try to get up and around the pillars. Because that's what these round things are, players. They're all pillars that go from the ceiling down to the floor. Those roundish okay. ones. So okay. enemies get like half cover and, and three-quarters No, that's, cover. that's three-quarters are full, and then the ones that are toppled over are the ones that will give you half cover, and this chest uh, will give only, you half cover. If only I had Spell Snapper to avoid that. Winter, it is now your turn. <laughs> I don't want that. Twig, you're up on deck, my friend. All right, okay. Winter. Agum has grabbed you, and you're now paralyzed, so what are you going to do? Uh, what's your plan, Agum? I don't know. Closer, let you go. I need to find Sephora. No, 
I need to kill everyone else first. There's Niklaus. Kill him. Okay. Um, I'm going to... I'm on his shoulder, so I guess I'm technically in this square, right? Sure. Cool. Fuck, I'll have to leave that or lean over to get into the square adjacent. And I'm going to try and um, use cold touch on the red rune. Chill touch, not cold touch. Whoops. Chill touch on the what? On the red rune. Okay. Nat 20! Oh Chill my touch. God! Oh. Fuck. Oh, Hell just, yeah. That's, that's such a waste of a 20. I know! You used it on the wrong one. All right. Cool. <laughs> Chill touch. Is him, Oh, it's necrotic damage. It's necrotic damage, though yep. I can't... You know, so, um... I yes, Nelly. Let me check if that also uh -huh. works with cantrips. Uh-huh. Uh, when you cast a spell that deals a type of damage from the following list, you can spend one sorcerer point to change that damage type to mm -hmm. one of the other list of types. Ah, okay. Uh, that's a cold fire, lightning, poison, thunder. Never mind. Well, radiant damage is his own thing. <sighs> awesome. So that didn't do anything. <laughs> Unfortunately, targeting the red, the red rune with your chill touch attack does not seem to cause a reaction. <clears throat> do I get the idea that something else would? Yes, you get the idea that none of them would react to necrotic damage. But like, I get the idea that they would react to other types of yes. damages. Yes. Yes, you can. I will. I will give you that meta knowledge <laughs> nat twenty for some reason. For some reason, you're randomly inspired. Oh, necrotic isn't right. Maybe it's a different one. Okay, I'm going to use sorcerer <laughs> points to use a uh, to. Uh, I don't. Never mind. I'm too far away. Can I actually get close enough? Did you say that you, the spell sniper, are too far away from something? Excuse there me? There is certain things. There is certain things. You know, <laughs> I have me? chromatic orb only has, has 180 feet range. Okay, I'm <gasps> sorry. Not everything has oh. 200 and God knows how many. Oh, oh my range. God. But it's not even Chump 600. Chumps. That's nothing then. Chumps change. Right, Aaron? <clears throat> what? <laughs> God. Okay. I'm in battle mode. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh. well, this, yeah, this, well, yeah, this is, uh, this is gonna. Oh, heck, I'm... I'm going oh, full frig right now. Just leave me to. Fair enough. Oh, Fudge sickle. Well, I'll do my help. We're gonna get closer because I need to get within like hundred and eighty-ish range, I guess. I'm killing Nicklaus. You can do that. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to go there. <laughs> I'm going to jump off and I'm going to move. Okay. Uh, oh, 30 okay. feet. I was 30. wondering what uh, Winter is. It was literally, yeah, he's literally an Agum, yeah. <laughs> well, no one. Okay. Twig, oh, that is now your turn. And Basil's on deck. Okay. Uh, Monkey Twig sees uh, old Nicholas next to the doll of his. Maybe Niklaus. deceased. Niklaus. Niklaus. M Niklaus. <laughs> Maybe deceased daughter. And he is going to charge right towards him. Okay. Like, why can't I move? Oh, I'm on ruler. Sorry. Oops. I'm ruler. <laughs> oh, God. I'm ruler. <laughs> I'm ruler. And he is going to hit him with his fist. Okay. He has two of those. Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, oh my gosh. god. 27 Are you hits? It's 27 hits. Yes, 27 hits. <laughs> um, second attack because he has two fist attacks. Uh huh. Yo, this BBG bite might not last as long as I thought it was gonna. Alright. There we go. Yep. So that is, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, 46 damage. Yes, yeah, so you just run up and start pounding on Niklaus, and he's just, just like. <laughs> <laughs> but like, <two> more. <laughs> <laughs> like King Kong. And he, I mean, he oh, takes yeah. the. He, he does react to the hits, but he doesn't look like he's in pain. It's just like the force of it is knocking him back, but he's just kind of looking at you as you're striking him. He has him. finally returned the monkey. And then monkey he just snarls. Over. Ooh. Basil, it is your turn. Okay. I'm not going to do shit this turn. Why don't you haste the enemy? Huh? <laughs> Why don't you haste the enemy? <laughs> Don't try me because I will haste you. 
viewers, just so you know, hasting the enemy is uh, kind of a joke, but not a joke because literally the two times that Basil has hasted people in this campaign, really horrible things have happened to them. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, like real, so, real bad. Uh, so I'm the enemy gonna do that. Concentration until I lose the turn. Oh, there you go. If, if uh, spellcasters hasted, can they do like can they use two actions like a cantrip and a spell that's both an action? No. They're hasted. Yeah, why not? Huh? Oh, what was what was the thing that you just said? Nettie's trying to break the system. No. <laughs> I'm tell. trying to get you to haste me so I can double cast cantrips and spells. Get every out of round. here! No. No. <laughs> uh, so a hasted spellcaster can use two actions, so he can't cast two spells. Yeah, but one has to be a cantrip and one has to be uh, yes. an actual spell slot. itself, yes. Um, I just want to tell Nettie no because she looks scary. Unless you have a couple of levels in fighter. Oh, you dog, you good. have advantage on your next saving throw. Oh, okay. I'll save it right here. Okay. Oh, good. and the saving throw. Wow, that's so planned. <laughs> You're definitely going to need it when you fight this plan. This, uh, you, when, you, when you face off with this Deva. Perfect. All right. Uh, um, thank you very much, um, Eda families. Um, <laughs> you deserve a grilled cheese with three Could've... strips of bacon. I just say okay you, perfect why did you choose that half of the name? Uh, <laughs> um anyway i am going to use my bonus action to cast okay. uh, uh wait uh, i can't mm. maintain a situation while i'm in wild shapes can i nope okay well i have to first concentrate and then wild mm. shape right mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> So, oh, it doesn't doesn't drop concentration when you wild shape. So correct. That's... Yeah, if you if you're concentrating, okay. then you wild shape. It doesn't drop it. You can't cast then it while you're gonna... already. Then I was right. Okay, I'm gonna cast Shield of Faith on uh, Twig, nice. and I am going to use my action to wild shape. Uh huh. I, I, uh, what's that creature? Good question. Come again? Uh, <laughs> no, I would rather not. Thank no. you. Whoa. Um, <laughs> let's see. Forget Big that I monkey. said anything. Did he shut up? This is a child appropriate show. Not at all. I'm just kidding. <laughs> sure. Excuse I'm the going fuck to out turn. I'm going to turn into a giant vulture. Ooh. Oh, oh no. Oh, okay. you're gonna grab people. Oh god. God, you always pick something I don't have ready when we go. For Hey, I give you a list. That's on you. That's fully on you. Oh, I did make the list. Where did I put it? Oh, I lost it now. So that's okay. I have it. Ready? <clears throat> fully on you. Basil. Vulture. I spelled vulture. I vote Volker. All right. There Hello. we go. You're wild shaped. Great. Boom. Thank you. You are now Perfect. a giant vulture. I am a Basil, giant vulture. Peepero. Peepero. What? Why do you make fun of my name? Calissus. Calisius. <laughs> okay, so this Bagel. is my last campaign, guys. I am never returning to it to create. Uh, oh no. <laughs> so, uh, okay. Let's see. Yeah, your giant vulture. So, There's a lot of big animals in here now. Yes, there is. Uh, Winter, you see at your side, Basil turn into what is essentially dinner. A can you give me like one sorry. cool moment? I'm sorry. <laughs> Can you just one? See, I, I actually, I actually one. was quiet. I was waiting for the description, and you were. I know you <laughs> were. I know you were. I appreciate that. No, no fuck you. I'm not. I'm not giving you a description. Fuck you. No, this no. Giant... Why do I not get the description? Because CJ was rude. It, it's a hybrid between a vulture and a dragon. That is essentially what I wanted to say. Oh. Fuck you, Siege. Oh, that's fucking hurt. That's oh. actually really cool. It's terrifying. All right. I know it is. <laughs> Fuck you. Yay. So much love between the players, guys. Thank you. All right. <gasps> You're a hybrid just like Winter is now. <gasps> don't don't put on the tinfoil hat. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not I'm just happy. Just I like, am dead. <laughs> Dad. 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 No. I was just happy. No. Basil, end your turn I whenever you're done. I, I'm not done. Oh, okay, so I haven't used my okay. movement yet. Go for it. So, uh, this bitch is right here, right? 
Let's 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 have an animal party. I'm going to what? Take off. <laughs> animal party. I don't know how to feel about that. All right. And I'm going to I uh, I'm going to dash and get over to mm -hmm. Nicholas here. I'm going to stay up about uh, I can use about 30 feet from uh, 30 feet in the air. I don't want to be that guy, but can you dash if you were to use your action to wild shape? Oh, that is a good question, actually. I don't know. Can no. I? No. Unless okay, you have bonus action dash. dash like a rogue. Uh, I don't. Okay. Okay, then never mind. I got like half. I get like... Uh, that would be... Right on top of crescendo, please. Oh. <laughs> I, I get like that. Oh, man. It's All right. fine. It's fine. Next time. All, All right. right. Uh, enter. Okay. Okay, Oznan. You can see him stand up from the chair and sprint. Okay, Buckshot, your your turn. Um, I'm gonna try uh, uh move forward, but since I got um blinded, I'm gonna get. This way, trying to dash forward. Okay, you are behind half cover, and in terms of ranged attacks, you know, as soon as I hit something in front of me, I freak out and uh, activate the uh, nature's veil. Oh, that's right, you're blind. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Where am I? Oh no. It's all gone. What is this? <laughs> Last fight, you got turned to stone. This way, he gets immediately blinded and just runs into a pillar. Ow. Oh, yeah. We got to remember uh, that Basil's poisoned. Am I? No. 24 hours. Is it not 24 hours? Oh, fuck you. What? I'm going to get advantage either, uh, advantage either way, so fuck you. Okay. Sounds Jesus. good. Please do. Nature's Veil. As a bonus action, I can turn invisible until the end of my next turn. Okay. You're, wait, what? You're invisible? Oh, so you're invisible and blind. So you yeah. can't see them and they can't see you. Yeah. <clears throat> can't see me and I can't see you. Did you just John Cena yourself? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, then. Okay. Uh, uh, Agum. Agum is gonna uh, run over, see the sick uh, bird, and be like, "You don't look well." Here, and he pulls out this like little potion and just like shoves it down your throat and makes you drink it. <laughs> He'll use his action to administer an antidote on taking away your poison. Oh. He did force it down oh. your throat, though. You didn't like. He didn't ask for permission. He was just like, <laughs> <laughs> "Okay, rapid oh, on Cheddar." Thank you. You just hear this Whee! in the background. <laughs> Excuse you? Yep. Well, Chris, you're familiar with that. <laughs> I'm familiar with the sound, not the pig. <laughs> uh, uh, <sure. laughs> Alright. Uh, Buckshot, you may be blind and nothing can see you, but you can feel the earth rumble near you. Mom? What? <laughs> oh my god. Mom. Come again. <laughs> Mom, he says. Alright. Mr. Ape Friend. Okay. Con saving throw, please, Mr. Ape. That is a 30 to hit. As a crystal shard flies through the there, through the darkness, essentially, you can see barely the figure of Safara near a mound of bones against the wall to the northwest of you. I get oh, a, you have advantage! advantage. Exactly. You have you have advantage because of that saving throw, yes! Oh, 18. yes! 18! You fail! Alright, hey. so... What? Okay, take it. <laughs> well, yes, how about, uh, he still has the... How about... I was gonna say, I was gonna say, with that 6, let's add it to make it 24. What? Oh, okay, with the six it makes it 24, you save! Heck yeah, okay, so you still take the 12 points of necrotic damage as the shard flies into your body 
and you can feel it begin to rot away the ape fur and you're just like huh maybe this is why the moorbounder went naked Ooh. crescendo it's your turn um seeing the stupid fucking celestial over there <laughs> <laughs> okay well he's just doing his job <laughs> god <laughs> it's gonna trigger my minor issues with celestials <laughs> and I'm going to activate my necrotic shroud as you guys see the familiar skeletal spectral black wings just explode out of my back <laughs> <laughs> alright wait what <laughs> yeah I have I have skeletal wings now Oh, that's right. Yeah, you're a big scary boy. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, <laughs> everyone within 10 feet of me has to make a... What? That's a fair... That's a fair point. All right, then. I don't know if the vulture's high or not. Ina just gave my BBEG disadvantage. <laughs> because, of course. <laughs> she was waiting for that, because she got broke on critties earlier. And <laughs> yeah, she... she spent all her points on critties. <laughs> I mean, you guys are full now, yep. so, you know. Okay. Sorry, go ahead, bone-winged... Uh, uh, okay, so that's a uh, wisdom Shindo. saving throw? Yes. No, charisma oh. save. Oh, fucking. Well, that would have been. That's <laughs> Uh. Charisma save? Okay. Mm -hmm. That's not great. Why do you make me do that? <laughs> oh. Thank you for that. You're now frightened of me. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's listen, the bone wings, it's it's we can't have two two beings with wings in one room. It's just oh. it's too much. You're you're kinda like Oh you it's too much? Frightened. It's, you it's her boneless too wings? much. I do. Huh? You prefer boneless wings? I do. Yeah. yeah. I'm not surprised. <laughs> Excuse you. Because <laughs> it's easier to eat. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So Basil, while you're a scra while you're scared of crescendo, you have while he's within line of sight of you, you have disadvantage on um, ability checks and attack rolls. So thank you, crescendo. Oh, I am also behind you at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> so at least you can run the opposite way. <laughs> you're no longer poisoned, <laughs> but you still have disadvantage on everything. <laughs> <laughs> you can thank your teammate for that. That was not me. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, no, that's great. That's just fantastic. That's I wasn't expecting fine. everybody to hurt towards this side. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever. Um, that's fine. I would hurry over there, over there as well, but I'm blind. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> okay, um, so it's actually going to end my turn because I can't really do much with the. You know what? No, bonus action, inspire the fucking ape again. <laughs> oh my god, okay. I'm just gonna roll the d10 like normal because it's weird and... Okay. Sounds good. Another six. Another six, yeah! Perfect! Okay, another six, you say? Now we just need another six to complete the set. <laughs> Okay, and then Sane now, appears. Minerva, Minerva <laughs> will once again summon a phantasmal bow, orange glowing light, and fire off another of the same radiant style bolts in that direction, aiming at. Oh yeah, I have, disad I have disadvantage on the roll. Thanks, Ina. <laughs> Good job, Ina. Good job, Ina. Thanks, Ina. Don't encourage her. Disadvantage on my Good longer well. roll to attack. <laughs> The vulture. That is only a 14 to hit. That hits. No. My AC is bullshit. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. My AC is 10. I have a 10 AC. Oh no. Oh. It was good. It was a good try. Uh, okay. Well, that, you know. you, you really I'm going to drop wild shape. Uh, oh, okay. So that's fun. I just wasted a use. You don't know how much damage you're gonna take. Are you dropping uh, wild shape, or is it you getting hit right now? No, no, it's oh, it's no, just from it's the hit. going to hit me. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't. It's not that much. It's not I that much. I don't have that many hit points. I rolled. 
horribly. You are the luckiest little shit. I rolled 20. How much was your HP? 22! 22. 22. Yeah. I am two hit points away. You know away. how many ones on my damage die I rolled right now? I'm so depressed. A lot. Anyway, yeah, but the okay, rest of you, so... plus you, all of, but now all of you guys have to roll a con saving throw because the flash of light goes poosh and, you know, my yeah. I'm immune! Except for Christian, though, because you're immune. Uh. Where did you, where did you hit the bird? Uh, I, I, any corner of the bird. I'm not doing it's a square. It's just anything from the bird is counts. Whatever's closest so to you. Nearest corner. Oh, to nearest you. corner. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I what save? Oh, I can't see it because I'm already blind. That's fair. That's fair. Con save, huh? Con save, please, yes. I'll roll him for Niklaus. Oh, crap. Agum is blind. What do you mean you're gonna reroll that? I use one sorcerer point to reroll my d20. Fine. She can do that. Fine. I did blind Agum. My bad. I, I turned that net one into a 17. Thank you very much. Oh, that was. Oh, my burp. heart just fucking dropped. Jesus. All right. And Ooh. Nicholas does save, but Agub does not. He is blind until the next end of Minerva's next turn. Okay. Oh. You doing all right there? No. <laughs> That's the second time I rolled a net one on something and I re rolled it with my fucking sorcerer <sighs> point. Mm -hmm. oh, I need these sorcerer points on everything, honestly. Okay, that was disadvantage. Uh, Niklaus' oh. turn. All right, Twig. Niklaus took the few hits. Looks to you, you can just see his just the the milky white eyes of the Deva. Oh. Oh, don't know what Deva is. Oh. I always think you're going to say Diva. <laughs> I don't know why. Don't forget you guys no, have points of inspiration. Though. There are six points. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And I, I know, get them but the in a second. battle's just started. That's true. The battle's just started. It'll probably go another session. One more. It'll probably... Yeah. I think, I think that next week will be the last. I think the next yeah, week will be the last. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe this mm -hmm. is actually a 12-tier ba boss fight. You have to kill it 12 times. Maybe. Let's go. I would so do that. That's a great idea. Okay, anyway. <laughs> we know. So he grab. You can see the the mace is just kind of like letting off some like it almost looks like clouds are just floating out of the the head of the mace. And he just swings at you, Twig. Three times. That is a twenty-one, a fourteen, and an eighteen to hit. All hit. Oh God. What's your what? AC? How it's, is it so? It's twelve. It's twelve. He's big. He's easy to hit. That's fair. <laughs> Well, he's beefy. <laughs> he's beefy. He's oh, not very fuck. good at okay. not getting hit. Well, Giant all... apes have more HP than a T-Rex. Yep. Okay. Um, can I have you roll the con save also? Well, I guess it's not really going to matter because of the shape you're in, but that's okay. We'll still technically do it. A con save? Ooh. Yes, please. Well, three of them. Three of them? Yep. So you one. failed one. Two. Failed two. The first one was bezel. What do you mean you say fail two? Yeah, the first one was big. Oh, okay. That oh. first one must be. Okay. So you failed one, two. You failed two. Okay. So then, uh, let's see. Seven plus five. Uh, you're raging, right? But does that count in the eight form? I don't know. I don't think. Uh, I think it gets carried over, I kinda, right? I kind of like that it would be carried over... I mean, you let, my, you let my mirror image carry over. So I'm going to let it carry over this campaign because it's funny, and this is Fate Wild Follies. Okay. Uh, so 7 and 5 is 12, and half is 6. Bludgeon damage. Okay. Six, got it. Okay. Okay, and that's 36 radiant damage. And 36 rain damage. Okay. So 6 All and 36 right. is 42, so your max HP has just been dropped by 42 points permanently until a long rest. Oh. And for the ape form, right? For the ape form, technically. Luckily, it's okay. not twig form, because that would have been twig form. Ooh. All right. So, kill him fast. Uh, and then the third attack that did hit, but you <laughs> saved the con, is uh, eight and a half is four, plus 24 radiant, is 28 total damage for that third attack. No reduction permanent. So he literally, you're, you're punching the crap out of this guy, and then he just like swings the mace at you and just like belts into the poor ape. Niklaus uh, is looking wounded, though. Not completely, but he you guys took chunks out of him. 
He might he may not have cried, but you pounding into him really did a number on him. Alright, Tavon's turn. Tavon just, you know, does his thing and tries to sneak around. Goodbye. All right, winter! <laughs> okay, first things first. Can I gauge which <laughs> damage is needed for which rune? As being a spellcaster, being that by blood, being close to the weave, being able to use every kind of damage myself. You can roll with Arcana oh, check because I feel like it. Okay, thank you. Hashtag abuse I'm going to use a point of inspiration on that no, one. I was kidding, not, a, not disadvantage. It's a regular Arcana roll. But you want to use a point of inspiration? Go for it. Let's I do it. I want to use a point of inspiration. I'm going to use a, a couple now. Okay, wait, what? <gasps> you met 20! 20. <laughs> for a 28 total. Okay. You so can look at you look, yes. you look at the I'm runes. Staring, staring over. I'm sorry, CJ. You look at the okay. You look at the runes. I don't know yeah. where did you pull this out. Okay. So when you see the runes, um, you will recognize them as the purple is related to psychic damage, the blue uh -huh. is cold damage, the red is fire damage, and the green is acid damage. Um, breaking them will affect the battlefield drastically somehow. But you're not sure how yet. Okay, 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 okay. They, you're also not like sure 20. what is the needed to break them. You just know that they are related to that type of magic. Yeah, yeah. and you need to get rid of them. Okay. Aw, uh, I only have lightning. <laughs> <laughs> so, now for the actual plan. <sighs> now for the actual plan? Wait, that wasn't the yes. actual plan? I'm going to use uh, my sorcerer points to turn yeah. a spell into a bonus action. Or see war. I mean, you but first, I'm going, going to things. I'm going to run or walk. I'm going to move 30 <laughs> feet. Dom, you doing okay over there, man? I know that Up. the monkey took a lot of hits right now, but like, you're, you're, um, <laughs> you're just on <laughs> here. <laughs> I mean, twig so HP is still full. Yeah, twig know, is right? still twig is still okay. Now you know what this thing can do, so you know you can adjust your strategy. <laughs> If they're just I, have more, I have two more polymorphs. Figure out what Twig <laughs> is going to do do. He's gonna do it. Well, he might do do from the fear of the damage. That was a lot of damage. The monkey so. might do do. A twelve AC is bad. Okay. Okay. So I run up <laughs> twelve is and really I use bad. my my social points to convert this spell to try and quicken it. Uh -huh. And I'm going to summon a draconic spirit next to me again. This big white dragon. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell the dragon to pick me up. Um, uh, actually, I'm going to um, I'm going to ready. Now that I still have my action, I'm going to ready a twin spelled chromatic orb. Okay. And I'm going to tell the dragon pick me up, carry yeah. me, carry me uh, up forth, and then drop me like thirty feet away from where I am. Right, I, I thought you were going to say chuck it. <laughs> <laughs> drop chuck me! And, and drop, <laughs> drop me about 30 feet. We've been practicing this whole time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> drop, me a, drop me about 30 feet for, from where I am and then um, go find a target to attack. Oh, okay. Oh, your dragon thing. Yes. Uh, let me go get your dragon thing. Okay, here you go. So I have readied a, a, a twin spelled chromatic orb and it's for the moment I'm in range or when I'm get dropped the, when I'm in range to hit the runes. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> yup. Now the draconic spirit. Creature as a dragon. Oh, don't forget to hydrate my friends. Uh, Goodness. Okay, and it oh nice, and I continue. It takes its turn immediately after mine. Oh my gosh. Okay, oh. so having called forth that spirit, yes, I actually got um, nothing. It's going to pick me up, <laughs> and we're going to. It's going to move me ahead thirty feet. Five, All right. 10, 15, 20, 25, Thirty, mm -hmm. which puts me in range of the uh, runes. Okay. It's going to drop me. But okay. we're just like five feet off the ground or whatever. Like it's not mm -hmm. far off the ground. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to attack this thing with cold damage. Okay. Uh, uh, Fire away. Yep, I was. I needed to find my. <laughs> I was like, how do I attack? <laughs> I was so ready, and then I just. <sighs> okay. Uh, um. Why do I get the feeling stuck enough? 
between a That's a 30 to place. hit on the rune. 30 to hit on the rune. All right. For 13 points of cold damage. 13 points of cold damage. On the fire rune. Got it. Does anything happen? No. Nothing happens? No, nothing happens. Okay. For the second one, I yes. uh, at the at the um at You can the... see Minerva, when it splashes against the rune, Minerva looks at it and looks Who was that? Oh. Who? Oh god. Who was that? <laughs> you leave oh, my shit. toys alone. Oh shit. I'm going to go for the second one um against the uh, green one and I'm going to use acid damage on it. Okay. Uh no comes. That is a uh, 29 to hit for, holy shit, 19 points of acid damage. Okay, 19 points of acid damage. You hit the rune. Yeah. And you see the rune shatter. So it is the same type of damage. I should have gone with fire first. I wanted to, and I was like, no, he's sneaky. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fuck. I'm pretty sure yeah. most people tried max to kill I got it. into my head too much. Yeah. <laughs> you did. Uh, it's okay. okay. You, know, I was you got one. For a second. That's real yeah. fucking good. And now I'm going to, and, and so that was 30 feet. So the dragon has 30 more feet and it's going to make its way. Uh, so over you break to, you break uh, that crystal and she's all no stop. <laughs> I wish I could vanish now. <laughs> mm, yep. Actually, let, me, let my dragon stay in front of me. I'm going. No, no, no. It's not going. I'm not going to hide behind the dragon. Um, my dragon's going to fly the rest of its thirty feet or twenty five, I guess, because it flew five feet up in the air. Uh, I guess just over. <laughs> and that's the end of our turn. That was so cool. I'm Twig. gonna die. <laughs> it brings us to you, my friend. <laughs> and we'll uh, do your turn I'm next <laughs> week. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> thank, you, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Like, huh? <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Back what? Block. How will Jeez. this battle go? So far, so good. The party seems to be figuring out that they can just uh, knock some heads in, and Winter has found a little secret to kind of tip the scales in their balance let's hope so if you enjoyed it you know go ahead and follow us here on twitch uh you can subscribe amazon prime is a great way to help us out with that if you're able to do that to help keep the channel going and uh if you want to keep up to date on any uh time changes or you want to interact with us more directly you can follow us on twitter it's a crit with three t's catch up on older episodes of this campaign Feywild Follies or our other campaign Into Anterium uh, on YouTube uh, look for It's a Crit official and you'll find us over there um, wow yeah thank you guys all thank you for the raid for today and all of the new viewers and for the interactions you guys were so great thank you for contributing to their inspiration let's see them use it to the best that they can next week Feywild Follies 8pm Pacific Time and we'll see if they can bring this PPEG down to her knees until next time, guys.